something better in return. <laughs> wow! What is she gonna give you? She doesn't know it, but tonight she's going to give me the... the Ghostbusters! The Ghostbusters? Tonight? Gee, Bozzy! <laughs> You're a real genius! I know I am, Bratterat! <laughs> I wish I could do that. You could, Eddie, with a little practice and a lot less eating. I wonder where Madam Y is. She was coming over to try Tracy's banana ice cream. I better call her. Am I ready for banana ice cream? You bet I am. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. Madam Y doesn't answer. I'm worried. Maybe Ansa Bone isn't working. <laughs> Look who's talking about not working. Uh, besides, uh oh, here comes a call. Ghost Command. Uh, but don't let that stop you from hanging up. <laughs> this is Jake. Can I help you? Who? Hey. Is this some kind of joke? Yes, only the joke's on you. Oh, by the way, there's someone here you know. Don't do it, Jake. Whatever he tells you to do, don't do it. Madam Y, what are you doing there? Madam Y? H Madam Y? We were disconnected. I guess Madam Y's not coming. Can I have her ice cream? Ooh. What I'd like to know is what she's doing at Haunt Quarters. Haunt Quarters? Yeah, I don't know why she's there, but we're going to find out. Oh, boy, a real mission. Can I go? <laughs> no, Belfry, maybe next time. Oh, Jake, you say that all the time. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time to say... Let's go, go!
Was that a gorilla just landing or the whole state of Texas? Let's go, GB. No time to lose. It. Turn back! We forgot to put the cat out! But we don't have a cat! Relax, GB. We're almost there. Okay, Tracy, stand by for landing! Should be seen. Oh, there it is now. Just as I remembered it. Ugly, ugly, ugly! We're in luck! Nobody's seen us yet! There they are! Is everything prepared for our guests of honor? The guards are out of sight! Everything's perfect! So far, so good, not a garden sight! It's too quiet, too easy. There's something funny going on. We'll climb the wall. Way up there? Oh, come on, fellas. Where's that Ghostbusters spirit of adventure? This is funnier than I expected. You've got them climbing the wall yet. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have had that extra sandwich. Yeah! <laughs> but, Jake, those, those eyes moved. They look all right to me. <laughs> what was that? My nose is twitching. Probably a couple of ghosts. G -g ghosts? Thanks, Jake. That's a real comfort, isn't it, Tracy? Well, isn't it? Tracy? Where's Tracy? <laughs> Garbage bags treated better than this! What's that? <laughs> Tracy! Tracy, how'd you get down here? You okay? <laughs> Good. Now, let's find a way to get out of here. That window. Get on my shoulders. <laughs> They're trying to get away. I was hoping they'd try. I don't get it. You want them to escape? Of course not, but it's fun to watch them squirm. <laughs> watch this. Can you reach it, Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> Give up, you big ape. No one gets out of my dungeons. <laughs> now let's go find Madam Y. Gods! Gods! Let's go, Ghostbusters! <laughs> We're surrounded! They're gonna make a sandwich out of us. What are we gonna do? Maybe they'll do it for us. Now, when I count to three, hit the floor. One. Time for Betty by Ghost Nappers. Two. Get ready for a cold, cold winter. Three. They sapped each other. Let's get out of here before he thaws out. And before Fangster wakes up. 
Have a deep sleep, creep. Let's split up and find where they're keeping Madam Y. What do you mean you can't find them? Find them! Not here, we'll try the other room. <laughs> Have you searched this room? Yes, I mean, no, but I will. Your madness, sir. <laughs> Have you searched this room? Anyone can see no one's here. <laughs> You now. Let go of me, you, you ghost bully! Not until you take me to Madam Y. I'm not taking you anywhere. I suppose I could leave you wrapped up for Prime Evil to find. Now, for the last time, where's Madam Y? She's downstairs! If they are caught, it'll be all my fault. Cheer up, Madam Y. The Ghostbusters are here to save you. I guess you start hearing things after a while. It's me. It's really me. What a sight for sore eyes. I thought I was lost forever. Enough of this mushy stuff. You're crushing me. I can't breathe. That would be an improvement. <laughs> Get that slimy weasel! I'll let him go. I'll take you to the ghost buggy and... You said you, Jake? Well, where are you? I think I'm in the next cell. I was hiding from some guards and... Yeah, I get locked in. I'm glad to see you too, Tracy. <laughs> This one, Jay. Good job, Eddie. Boy, I wish I could see Prime Evil's face when he finds out we've escaped. <laughs> Your wish has been granted. Take them to the clone room. The, the clone room? That's what I said. Staring at me all day isn't gonna help. Stop worrying about your precious Ghostbusters. Hello? Who's worried? I'm not worried. Anybody here? Jessica, boy, am I glad to see you. Yippee! Uh, look, we've got a problem. <laughs> Hi, Belfry. Jake was supposed to call me this morning. He's not here. They all left to rescue Madam Y from Haunt Quarters, eh? Haunt Quarters? Uh, that's strange. She's gone. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Belfry, but I was in a hurry. They'll need our help, Jessica. We must go to Haunt Quarters. And I'm going with you, if you let me. Sure, why not? You mean it? I can come with you? Yeah, bring me back a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Well, I can't promise you that. <laughs> but I can promise we'll bring back the Ghostbusters. Frankly, I'd rather have a cheese sandwich. <laughs> hey, boss, you've got them all now. Don't you think I should get a reward or something? <laughs> Serving me is your reward. Of course, you're bad 
chip. Throw them into the clone room, then they will never say that infernal phrase. Let's go, Ghostbusters! You do it, uh. Jake, everybody, this way! Guards, seize them, you idiots! I think you boys have lost your marbles. Here, have some of mine! You ruined my plans for the last time, Futura! Watch out, Futura! Hurry, Futura! Don't let them get away! Uh-oh, detour! Let's duck in here! Oh, ouch! I wish there was more light! <laughs> Why didn't you say so? It's GB! Just hop in and leave it driving to me! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go, go! Hold it! Belfry! Where's Belfry? Oh, no! Is he here, too? When did you last see him? In the clone room. No, Jake, you can't go back there! I have to, Eddie. Belfry might be in trouble. After I zap you, you'll like it here. I might even make you my personal servant. Uh, can I have one last request before you turn me into a clone, Mr. Bratterat? Huh? Huh? Yeah, sure, bird brain. What is it? Uh, I can't get up the steps tied up like this. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not falling for an old trick like that. You'll stay tied up. Oh, keep me tied up, Mr. Bratterat. I only wanted you to give me a boost to get up the steps. Like this? Yes, Mr. Bratterat. That's Are you all right? Oh, uh, you came back for me. <laughs> she didn't think we'd leave without you. Full alert! Full alert! All ghoul aids, report to the clone room immediately. All ghoul aids. I won't get away this time. Tracy, now! Okay, Belfry, there's your target. Hey, I'm on your side. I got one! Uh, no, you, no, you don't. You got me. I'm not really seeing this. I'm not! Once again, Prime Evil's evil plan was spoiled. Thanks to Futura and Jessica. And thanks to Tracy and GB. But most of all, thanks to a little guy with lots of spunk. You really came through for us, Belfry. I'm real proud of... <laughs> Belfry? <laughs> I guess it was a tough day for all of us. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. When Madam Y was in trouble, the Ghostbusters came to help her. And when the Ghostbusters were in trouble, Jessica, Futura, and Belfry came to help them. That's what friendship is all about, helping each other. 
So remember, boys and girls, the best way to have good friends is by being a good friend in return. One more thing. If you see a friend without a smile, give him one of your own. from Pluto for testing. Look how fast the mega laser can make a tunnel in it. Wow! Yes, I better guard this mega laser until it's safely on Pluto. It could be very dangerous in the wrong hands. You mean like mine? <laughs> I'm afraid I must agree with you, Tora. If I had the Mega Laser, I would use it for evil. <laughs> Which is precisely why I'm going to steal it. Not if I can help it, Spark Face. Ah. Oh, getting sleepy. Excellent work, Transalot. By the time those two have woken up again, I and this Mega Laser will be at the center of the Earth! <laughs> and when we woke up, the Mega Laser was gone! That evil monster, I wonder what he's up to? I'll let you hear for yourself. My multi-gem here automatically records everything that happens. Listen. By the time those two have woken up again, I and this Mega Laser We'll be at the center of the Earth! <laughs> the center of the Earth? Impossible! Maybe not, guys. There are many old legends telling of another world inside the Earth. Well, if they're true, and Primeval has taken the Mega Laser there, then there's only one thing to do! Right, let's suit up, and then... Let's go! consider taking a bus? Not this time, GB. A bus won't take us where we need to go. Oh, yeah? And where's that? Straight down. Down? Like into the ground? You got it. Drill mode, GB. Oh, okay, but next time, take the subway. <laughs> Given 
me a hit, eh, Jake? How deep are we going? A long way, I'm afraid, TV. All the way to the center of the earth. Oh, my aching head. There it is, Corinne. The Golem slave camp. It is there that the Golems have imprisoned our people. But not for long. We'll rescue them, right, Father? Yes, my daughter. But not we. I will go. You will stay here. But, Father... No, Corinne. It is too dangerous. I go alone. But... No, Corinne. We will not discuss it. You stay here. General, he is expected at any moment. As a matter of fact, here he comes now. Dread that prime evil. He knows how much we call him take the light. <laughs> Greetings, Chubby. I'm accustomed to a more respectful greeting, Prime Evil. Oh, be quiet, Boulder Belly. If I hadn't used up my black gemstone putting out the core world sun, you and your rockheads would still be buried in the dirt. Oh. Give me your report. Have you enslaved every human in core world? See for yourself. We have not been idle since your last visit. Ah, excellent. An army of slaves to do my bidding. <laughs> Using the megalaser, I shall drill tunnels up to the outside world in special places. <laughs> my slave army shall burst forth unexpectedly and capture the world's leaders. And then I, Primeval, shall at last Rule the world! <laughs> so here we are. The world at the center of the earth. It sure is dark. It was not always so, stranger. This used to be a bright land until the red-robed stranger put out our sun. And who are you? Are you friends of his? Red Rope Stranger? He must mean Prime Evil. Right. We are not friends of Prime Evil. We have come to stop him from more wrongdoing. You do not look evil, but looks can be deceiving. I cannot take chances. I... Ha! More humans for the slave camp. Take them! Rock creatures, Jake! Right you are, Eddie. Let's rock and roll! Okie dokie, These stun bolts should slow you down. Ah, fool! Your stun bolts will not stop a golem soldier! Not very nice, are they? Let's teach him some manners, guys. Hit it! <laughs> Hang on, stranger. Yeah, we 
can't teach you. You're busted! Jake! Over here! That's my prisoner! Not anymore, Rockhead! Brave strangers for coming to my rescue. I apologize for the way I acted when first we met, but with all my people enslaved by Golem General, I was suspicious. We understand. Did you say that all your people have been enslaved? Yes. Golem General captured them. He's giving them to the one you call Prime Evil as a slave army. He plans to use the slave army to attack the legendary surface world. So that's why Prime Evil stole the Mega Laser. He needed a tunnel for his army. Exactly, Futura. And if he makes that tunnel, there'll be no way to stop him. It looks like we've got work to do. It's too dangerous, he says. You might get hurt, he says. The golems capture all our people, and Father expects me to... <laughs> What's that? Oh, a baby turbodactyl. It's trapped in those vines. Don't worry, little turby. I'll have you out in a jiffy. <laughs> The Golem Slave Camp is just ahead, Rexicor. Hopefully, we'll be in time to stop Prime Evil's hideous plan and free your people. How did all this happen, Rexicor? Where did the Golems come from? They were always here, Futura. But for a long time, the light of the core sun kept them in their rock form. Then, one day, he came. The evil one you call Prime Evil. His dark magic was powerful. With a wave of a dark jewel. He extinguished our sun. And with the sun gone, the hideous golems were able to awaken from their sleep. My daughter Corinne and I were off on a camping trip. By the time we returned, the golems had captured all our people. Don't worry, Rexicor. Together, we'll take care of those golems. Yeah, and rescue all your people, too. You give me confidence, my friends. Though the golem army is very powerful, I think that together, we might yet triumph. <laughs> Boy, Rexicor, let's do it! Are you all right, Turby? Those tangle vines didn't hurt you, did they? <laughs> no, I guess not. Well, it looks like I've made a friend. For whatever good it does me. Father is still off trying to rescue our people by himself. He thinks I'm too young to help, but I'm not. I'll show him I can fight golems, too. Except I could never get there in time. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Derby, do you really think you could carry me? <laughs> oh, Derby, that would be wonderful. Now I'll be able to help Father. Let's go! Carefully, you idiots! Carefully! The Mega Laser must be positioned exactly right in order to bore a tunnel directly to the White House. Prime Evil setting up the Mega Laser to attack Washington. We'd better hurry. Rexicor, you free the prisoners. Leave the Mega Laser and Prime Evil to us. Agreed, Jake. 
I wish I could do more, but I have no weapon that will stop the golems. My jackbow. What have you done to it? Look, human. Get them, Brian. Wow, Tracy souped it up. You now have the most powerful jackbow in Core World. More humans. Uh oh, and you're gonna need it. Let's go. Sound the alarm. What is that noise? The alarm, magnificent one. Merely intruders. My guards will deal with them. Mere intruders? You idiot, that's the ghost! You busters! If those buffoons interfere with my plan, I promise you, you will be very, very sorry! My guards will handle the great one. Believe me. Uh-oh, guys. Hit it! them boulders let's go oh. Oh, oh, oh i don't like the looks of this try to crack these clamps tracy <laughs> sure hope rexicor's doing better than we are Takes care of you, Stoneheads. Now for the door. That did it. Oh. Oh, my poor people. Ha! Huh. Trying to free the prisoners, huh? Thank you. You were just in time. But next time... <laughs> the Ghostbusters. I hope they're doing all right. Not doing so well, are you, Ghost Bunglers? Matter of fact, you're just in time for a demonstration of the Mega Laser, as I use it to board a tunnel to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Oh, I see. And Prime Evil's about to use the Mega Laser. No time for us all to get down there. Give me your Quadra Staff, Corinne. I have one ghost! Yeah. Busters! I'm activating the Mega Laser now! Oh! 
Busters, I cannot thank you enough for saving Core World. You helped too, Rexacore. I'm just sorry Golem General escaped. You will make more trouble, I'm sure. But we will be ready for him. And we'll be ready to help you. Well, let's get going, guys. Drill mode, GB. Get ready to bore. It might have been a fun adventure for you. But to me, it's been one big bore. <laughs> oh, hi. In today's show, Prime Evil stole the Mega Laser because he wanted to use it for evil. The Mega Laser was a tool designed to do useful work, but in the wrong hands, such as Prime Evil's, it was very dangerous. Your parents may have tools around your house. Tools like electric saws, blenders, drills, even toasters make life easier, but if you use them wrong, they can be very dangerous. So remember, don't use any tools without your parents' permission. Bye now, see you later. So good so fast. <laughs> Laser hammer. 
A laser aimer? Let me see that. This little thing makes it hit the bullseye every time? That's not fair, Tracy. Guess what? We're going to China. China? Yes, Tracy. They discovered an ancient vault at the tomb of the first emperor. It's over 2,000 years old. Wow! They're going to open it up, and Futura has asked me to do a special report for her to take back to the 30th century. How come you get to go on all the great trips? Because we never miss. We'll be landing in an hour, Futura. What's the first thing you want to cover? Well, let's go straight to the tomb of the first emperor. After that, the Great Wall. There are over 7,000 of these stone figures, a whole army placed here to protect the tomb and the treasure of the first emperor. Inside the tomb, the statue of a fierce dragon awaits anyone who dares to break in. The inscription reads, Let he who disturbs my sleep beware. The Dragon Jewel. Beautiful. Way to prime evil sees this. <laughs> Let's go. We'll hide out in the old ruins until we can get back to Haunt Quarters. He's waking up. It's jolly well time to get out of here. Who oh, discover my dream? What human has awakened my anger? Go forth and avenge me, my stone warriors. The Great Wall of China was built over 2,000 years ago to protect China from its enemies to the north. It's over 4,000 miles long. What's that? Quick! Take cover! Oh, no! He's frozen her in stone! It must be the curse of the sleeping dragon. You're right. If we want to help her, we'd better get over to the dragon's vault. Someone stole the jewel. How? Nobody could, but a ghost could have. Oh, I think it's time we called the Ghostbusters. A dragon? And he's freezing people in stone? We'll be there as soon as we can. Time to get our work clothes on, guys. Let's go, go!
We're on our way to China. The trouble started when someone stole the dragon's jewel. Right. Then the stone soldiers started riding up and down the Great Wall, freezing everybody in stone. Let's go check things out at the Great Wall with the Ectostrobe and see if there really is a ghost behind all this. That's funny. What? It's an awfully strong reading. Uh-oh. And that's why. He's headed right for Jessica and Futura. Look out! Get away! Jake! Eddie! Oh, Jake. You got yourself frozen in stone trying to save us. Oh, uh, we've got to do something. Wait, I've got a plan. What? The dragon. Maybe we can make a deal with him to unfreeze everybody. Oh, it's worth a try, even if we do have to wake him up. Well, there he is. Fast asleep. How do you, uh, uh, wake up a sleeping dragon anyhow? Carefully. <laughs> Very carefully. Uh, um, excuse me, uh, great dragon? We'd like to talk to you. Uh, Mr. Dragon? He's a deep sleeper. Tracy! We don't want to get him angry. Sorry. Disturbs my sleep. Ooh, ooh. We're sorry to have to wake you up, Mr. Dragon, but we have to talk to you. It's about your stolen jewel and... My jewel? What do you know about my jewel? Only that someone took it and now you're turning people to stone. But you're hurting the wrong people. There are no wrong people. All people, all humans are guilty. That's not true! Silence! I am the great dragon, not some... some lizard you can shout at. Give me one good reason why I should not turn you to stone right now. Because we've done you no harm. And because you want your jewel back. You can return my jewel? Yes, if you free everyone you've frozen in stone. You mean, first I help you, then you help me? Yes. How do I know this isn't a trick? <laughs> trust us. What did he say? He said you must trust us. Will you do it? Ah, but first, you must prove yourselves worthy of my trust. <laughs> you must pass three tests. One of strength, one of courage, one of skill. If you succeed, I will free your friends. <laughs> but if you fail... If we fail, then we'll be frozen in stone too, right? Right! <laughs> I will free all humans from the stone if you beat my warrior in three tests. The first will be the test of strength. <laughs> Whoever can lift the roof of the temple will be the victor. My warrior will go first. My champion has won! 
That's not fair. You have to give Tracy a chance. I didn't say anything about being fair, but if you think he can beat my lawyer, <laughs> let him try. Come on, Tracy. You can beat that stonehead. <laughs> to pass the first test. The second is more difficult. <laughs> My warrior will jump his horse across the gorge. In order to win, you must do the same. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jessica, but I've never even been on a horse. I'll go. I'm a pretty good rider. But I've never ridden a stone horse before. Oh, well. The gorge is deep. If you fail... Don't say it. I wouldn't want the horse to get nervous. Easy, boy. Easy. See you later. Good luck, Chess. <laughs> Jump from over there. Oh no, Tracy. She's jumping an even wider section. Grab my hand. Now hang on. Easy now. Oh, that was great, Jess. <laughs> Well, so far, the last test is the taste of skill. You have one arrow to shoot into the target. My warrior will go first. That warrior's been trained to use a crossbow. I've never even seen one before. Oh, if there were only some way to make this a bit more fair. Laser aimer. The laser aimer. Oh, no. I couldn't do that, Tracy. It would be like cheating. Ooh, almost a bullseye. You'll have to beat that. That means dead center. Oh, no. I hit the same place. I didn't beat him. It's a tie. They must shoot again. There are no second chances. And now you leave everyone frozen in stone forever? That is not so. But you said... I said only that there are no second chances. I did not say you failed. What was the purpose of these tests? To see who could win. Oh, no. It was to find out if I could trust you. And you proved that I could when you saved my warrior. And you proved that you are trustworthy when you refused to cheat with the laser aimer. But how did you know about that? I am the great dragon. I know many things. <laughs> oh, then you'll set Jake and Eddie free. And all others as well. Goodbye. Go to your friends. <laughs> Get back! Where'd he go? Oh, Jake, you're all right. Oh, welcome back. 
I don't understand. A moment ago, there was a stone horseman charging at you. Oh, long story. I'll tell you on the way to the Great Dragon. We promised to help him. I can never rest until the Emerald Jewel is returned. Where do we start to look for the jewel? Don't worry, we'll find it. Sure, but where do we start to look? My nose is twitching, and you know what that means. Let's try the ecto stroke. Good idea. There were ghosts here, all right. And they went that way. Stay put. We'll be back soon. I'll be here, but hurry. I need my sleep. Oh, I haven't had so much excitement in over a thousand years. I've got a reading, and it's getting stronger. Look, the ectostrobe is pulling us toward the ruins of that old palace down there. Good spot for ghosts. Let's take a look. That place looks haunted. It's only a statue. Shh! I heard voices. Jessica, this could be dangerous. You and Futura stay here. Oh, heaven forbid the girl should get near danger. There's the jewel. How are we gonna get it out of there? We got it. Hmm, how about this? Good idea, Trace. Give it your best shot. He's got the jewel, but not for long. Run for it! And then you two go that way. I thought so, too. Oh! It's one of the stone warriors. It's okay, Jake. He's come for the dragon's jewel. The jewel? Oh, sure. It'll save us a trip to the vault. You sure saved us. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> right. I certainly am glad you boys... Keep us out of danger. <laughs> huh. Am I glad you didn't invite that dragon home? He would have sent our fire insurance sky high. Once we won the dragon's trust, he was no problem. Mm-hmm, but sometimes winning someone's trust isn't easy. There's one sure way, and that's to be kind and fair and to tell the truth all the time. Be honest, and you'll have everybody's trust. So long, everybody. Hope to see you soon. Honest, I do.
Jake, take a look at what Tracy just built. Yeah, it's fantastic. Gosh, that's really something. Hmm, what is it? Oh, well, you know how Tracy loves hats. Ta-da! Meet Tracy's handy hat machine. Why don't you show him, Trace? <laughs> Okie dokie. You're right, Eddie. It's definitely fantastic. Boo. You're missing Jessica's news report. Boo. Boo. Don't say I didn't warn you. My gosh. It's almost over. And here's a late bulletin from New York City, also known as the Big Apple. Oh, what? Ghosts of all shapes and sizes have begun to appear in New York City. There's no explanation for this strange development, but you can count on yours truly, Jessica Ray, to dig up the real story. Until then, good night, ghost fans everywhere. Ghosts in New York City. Wow, I wonder what's going on. Oh, sorry. The Ghostbusters have gone to another dimension, a dimension of sight and sound. Cut it out, Ansibone. This could be an important call. No problem. Hey! No fair, you big ape. I warned you about that, answer, Bone. Hello, Ghostbusters. Oh, hi, Tom. What? Jessica took off in the news copter? Where'd she go? Okay, we'll get right on it. I don't like the sound of this. Jessica got some kind of strange message and took off in the news copter. They don't know where she went. Do you think Madam Y might know? Good idea. Tracy, make a video connect with Madam. Okie dokie. We've got a problem, Madam Y. Jessica's disappeared. Can you locate her with your crystal ball? Hmm. Maybe yes, maybe no. Let's see. Yes. Yes. I'm getting something. That's not right. Madam, what do you see? Something very strange. All I can see is a picture of... of... New York City. New York City? Yes. It doesn't make sense. Wait. Yes, it does. Jessica said something about digging up the story behind those New York ghosts. Thanks, Madam Y. Now we know where to start looking. Anytime. Anytime. Let's go! Have a dog instead of an old 
overweight gorilla. Okay, Trace, hit it. New York, here we come. Here's New York. Sure wish I knew who sent me the message. The Phantom of the Big Apple is waiting to meet you. Come to the 13th floor and come alone. Well, if this is the place. I guess I should call the Ghostbusters on the ghost beeper and let them know where I am. But how dangerous can it be? And <laughs> besides, I'm old enough to take care of myself. Come in, please. Okay, whoever and wherever you are, what's this all about? Sit down, Miss Ray. How are you? <laughs> I'd be a lot better if I could see you. Well, here I am. Mr. Phantom, I'll bet you can tell me about the ghosts that are turning up all over New York City. A wise guess. But you'll soon see that the ghosts are just the beginning. Uh, what do you mean, I'll see? That's why I invited you here. First, to show you how I scare New York City out of its wits. Then, I'm going to use your television show to tell the city to surrender. Wrong! I decide what goes on my show and you're not on the guest list. You do what I say, you but... No chance! Wow! <laughs> Benny! Clyde! Stop her! If that ape gets me stuck in one of them New York traffic jams... Where are we gonna start to look for Jessica? Let's head for Times Square. If she's looking for ghosts, then we'll look for them, too. I'll get out the ecto strobe. Find her before she gets away! Right, boss. They could be in there. Where are you? Not here. Whoa! That was close. It's time to find out what's going on around here. Look at all the lights. Yeah, but not many people. The ghosts must be scaring them away. Pull over, Trace. Let's see what the ecto strobe shows. So that's it. Well, let's check it out. Maybe it'll help us find Jessica. Put GV into train form, Tracy. We're gonna bust some ghosts. <laughs> ah, I hate this. <laughs> it's dark and dirty in the subway. Sorry. 
Unfortunately, those big mouths of yours are good for something more than laughing. You're going to use them to cut the Brooklyn Bridge in half. Cut the bridge? Oh, gosh, this is terrible. I've got to get in touch with the Ghostbusters. Hope they hear my beeper calling the Ghostbusters. This is Jessica. I said I wouldn't like this, and I don't. Hey, that's Jessica's beeper. Jessica! Jessica, where are you? Jake! Thank goodness! New York's being overrun with ghosts, and I know who's controlling them! Uh-oh! Jessica! What is it? Are you okay? Quick! The Brooklyn Bridge! What? Oh! What about the Brooklyn Bridge? Jessica! 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 Why is the Brooklyn Bridge in danger? And where are you? It's no use. Something's happened to her. So, you warned the Ghostbusters about my friends with the Brooklyn Bridge, did you? You bet I did. You're not as big a cheese as you think you are, you rat. We'll see about that. She said the Brooklyn Bridge was in danger. Right. But she didn't say from what. And how are we going to find the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah. There's nobody around here to ask. Maybe that way. Or this way. I know what we need. A subway map. Trace, have you got a... All right, Miss Star Reporter. Here's your story. Watch how I make New York the capital of my ghost empire. <laughs> Big Tooth, Sweet Tooth, Cavity. Time for you to get to work on the bridge. Go cut it in half. <laughs> Tracy, do you know where we are? Yeah, look out! Good work, Tracy. That was too close for comfort. I thought somebody stayed underground. Not when they go across rivers. This must be the Brooklyn Bridge. Safe at last. Uh-oh, I spoke too soon. Look! Yummy. <laughs> Good wish. Good wish. Oh my gosh, they're eating the bridge! So that's what Jessica meant. The ghosts are cutting it in half so nobody can come into the city. Come on, we gotta stop them. <laughs> Try to get close enough for me to use the dematerializer. Well, it is the ghost bummer. Yeah, and Jimmy. Oh, love those rubber tires. Yum, yum. Yum. Not my tires. I'll get them. No good. We're not close enough. Yeah, yeah, get away. Leave me alone. Yummy tires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tracy, help! They're coming at me from all directions. <laughs> Enough to do that. Listen, man, you're not the boss. <laughs> Toss him up, Trace. Those 
nice fool, Tooth Scaries. But it doesn't matter. The Brooklyn Bridge is broken. My plan is working. <laughs> Look! Sovereign Spankers! There's a subway train headed for that break in the bridge! We gotta do something! Yeah, but what? No full moon tonight, so I can't call on Fuddy for super strength. Gosh, Trace, it's a big bridge, but it's the only chance we have. I'll take the wheel and you go for it. Better do it fast. Him up. Oh, good old Tracy. He always comes through. I'm not finished yet. I still have you, and the Ghostbusters don't know where you are. Maybe no, maybe yes. The Brooklyn will be okay, but we still don't know where Jessica is. Listen, that's your emergency signal. She must have switched it on so we can track her. Can you do it, Trace? No problem. Hey, it's coming from the building over there. Boss? Boss? The Ghostbusters are outside the building. They know where I am now. Wait, that's even better. Let the ghost bummers in, then grab them. You got it. Don't get lonely, reporter. In a few minutes, your friends will be right here with you. <laughs> if I could just get out of these ropes. Wait, the plant. One good kick should do it. Oh, I hope this piece is sharp enough. Oh, it worked! Now if I can just find another way out of here. Uh-huh. Okay, here's the plan. Trace, you check the outside while Eddie takes the inside. Uh-oh. Grab him! Jake, get the dematerializer! After him! That's a long step down, and I'm crazy. Wait, that's Tracy. Tracy! Tracy! I'm trapped! Can you help me? It's important to keep in touch, especially when you're chasing ghosts. Or any other time, too. What's that? Oh, that's Tracy's hat machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, Tracy. But when I was standing on the edge of the Phantom's building, this is the only hat I wanted to see. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Today we found out that New York City is an interesting place. That's right. It's filled with unusual buildings, big and small, new and old. Yeah, too old for me. There's nothing wrong with old, Belfry. Grandpa Kong is old, and think how much we've learned from him. That's true. New is nice, but you should never forget how much there is to learn from people and places and things that are old. See you soon, old friends. Candice, we're passing Castle Dracula, and look! Oh, nonsense! That old vampire has been gone for years! I rule Transylvania now, and I intend to keep it peaceful. What's that? having trouble with his automobile. Let me see if you can help him. Yes, Mum. Beg pardon, sir. May I be of assistance? Yes, I think you can. Hello, Ghostbusters! Seven days, 24 hours, Eddie Spencer talking. <laughs> Who? Lord Mayor of Transylvania? What? Cam Dracula. We all thought he was finally gone for good, but he's returned. And he has captured our beloved ruler, the Dowager Countess, and her chauffeur. Can you help us? Can we? We're on our way. Come on, guys. We got a job. Let's get into uniform. Bring your garlic salami along, Tracy. You can eat it later. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Transylvania's really in trouble now. <laughs> Let's go, go, Buster!
Oh no, I haven't finished my beauty nap. To Transylvania. Oh no. So, the Ghostbusters are coming to stop me from reclaiming my kingdom, eh? Well, they shall not succeed. Transylvania shall be mine once more. Right, slaves? Right, right master. master. According to this map, we should be over Transylvania now. And look, there's Jessica. Those reporters sure find a story fast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your TV reporter, Jessica Ray, speaking to you from Transylvania, where we landed moments ago to investigate reports that the dreaded vampire Dracula has returned. Uh, look, uh, up in the sky. <laughs> Ah, uh, Ghostbusters, as Lord Mayor of Transylvania, I welcome you. Thank you, Lord Mayor, but I'm afraid we must hurry. Vampires hide during the day, and it's only four hours till sunrise. Which way is Castle Dracula? That way. Oh, what a story. I'm going too. <laughs> Castle Dracula, huh? <laughs> Looks like nobody's home. Let's go back. No, we're going down. If you're scared, you can wait outside. The head of a vampire bat. Yes, the Dracula's family crest. Knock on the door, Eddie. Uh, knock on the door, Tracy. Ork Duggan. This is Jessica Ray, reporting from Castle Dracula, where we're going to interview... Uh, whoever. <laughs> We're going to catch a vampire. We'll have to go inside. Dracula. Some say he was thousands of years old. Doesn't look a day over 500. Way. Let's go. Lighted candles. They look new. Hmm. That means someone has been here recently. Listen. Hear that? Who's playing the organ? Not me. Not me. Me either. Well, somebody is. And I think we better find out who. Ben, 
welcome to Castle Dracula! <laughs> you to drop in, Ghostbusters. Yeah? Well, when we drop in, ghosts drop out. Huh? It didn't work. Whoops. We've got a problem, guys. Vampires aren't ghosts, so the dematerializer doesn't work on them. You're right, Jake. But while you cannot attack me, I can attack you. Tracy, get us out of here! Okie dokie. Oh, that was just in time. Oh no! Jessica! Where's Jessica? We gotta get rid of that vampire before he gets Jessica, guys. Tracy, you still have that garlic salami? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good. Vampires hate garlic. They also hate mirrors. I've got a mirror. Great. And finally, we all know that sunlight will get rid of a vampire, right? Right. Then here's my plan. Jay! Eddie! Tracy! It's Jessica! Can you get me out of here? Dracula's after me! Coming right up! Let's go, guys! Tracy, the rope! Nice shot, Tracy! Oh! So, trying to escape, eh? You are in my power, Jessica. So listen to my command. I will tell you exactly what I want you to do. Be right there, Jessica. Jessica, come on! We'll get you out of here! No, I will stay here. Jessica, are you feeling all right? I feel fine. I will stay here. I want to stay with my master. Gee, I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> She's in a trance. Dracula must have gotten to her. I'm afraid so. As a matter of fact, you will also be my slaves. Look into the eyes of Dracula. <laughs> Quick, guys, the specter shakes. <laughs> ah, ha! It works. As long as we have these specter shades on, your evil eyes can't work on us. I will have to take your stupid shades off! Bad chance, bad breath! There's three of us and only one of you! Correction, Ghostbuster! There are three of you, and there are four of us! Uh oh, I don't like the looks of this. Time to put the plan into action. Let's go, guys. Don't get caught, but don't hurt anyone. Remember, these are people, not ghosts.
This looks like a perfect place for our vampire trap. Let's go Ghostbusters. <laughs> Just in time! There they are. We have you now. Now what, Jake? Now we let them catch us. Are you crazy? Don't worry, Eddie. This is all part of my plan. <laughs> ah! Excellent work, slaves. the Ghostbusters added to my slave army, we can soon start to enslave all of Transylvania. The kingdom will be under my evil rule once more. <laughs> but first, to turn the Ghostbusters into mindless zombies. Have you anything to say before I enslave your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact, Batty, I do. Tracy, your garlic salami! you to this balloon and send you into the sky to wait for sunrise. Nice try, Ghostbuster. But you forgot one thing. Not only can I turn into a bat, but I can turn back again. <laughs> uh, is this part of your plan? Probably not, Eddie. My eyes. Uh, uh. No, my friends, I must not let them be enslaved. I must break free. I must. Uh. What? You broke free of my mind spell. I'll just make a stronger one. That's what you think, bad breath. Back to normal. 
Well, you're safe now, Countess. We're the Ghostbusters, and we just busted that vampire. <laughs> oh, wonderful. That means that Dracula won't be back until the next time there's a ring around the full moon. <laughs> yeah, how often does that happen? De uh, every hundred years. Oh, well, that gives us lots of time to stock up on garlic. <laughs> Boy, Futura, you should have been there. I was really scared. Sounds to me as if Jessica's love for her friends was stronger than Dracula's power. Right. Friendship is a pretty strong thing. I mean, if you or Jess were in trouble, well, nothing could stop me from helping you. Nothing. Me too. Me too. Well, that goes both ways, guys. Let's hear it for friendship. <laughs> hip, hip, hip! It's about time we all hit the sack. Coming, Eddie? All right with you, Jake. Good, good night, Belfry. Right in the middle of Ghost Command. Now, where is that blasted bed? Nebdul, boy, haven't I? Let me go! You crummy ghost! Not a blooming chance! Oh, yeah? Well, a Belfry blast should curl your mustache, Hunter. Sorry, old chum, but I was rather expecting that. <laughs> and speaking of expecting, Primeval is expecting us. <laughs> It's about time you returned. Do you have that blasted bat, Belfry? See for yourself, oh boy. 
Don't call me old boy, you little twerp! <laughs> now uncork him! Uncork him? I say, old bean, do you think that's wise? You question my judgment, Hunter? I, I, I say, the middle and not a big old chap. <laughs> Song of destruction. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be just what I require to conquer the earth. What? Yes, my giant spectral amplifier is almost completed. Soon it will be ready to send to Earth. There, I will amplify your belfry blast a billion times and destroy every building on Earth! <laughs> uh, you've shorted your circuit, Sparkface! You need a belfry blast for your evil plan to work, and I'll never help you! Not even a whisper! We'll see about that, Rodent. I think you'll change your tune soon enough after a little stay in the closet of fear. <laughs> <laughs> Soon he will do as I command. My evil plot is almost complete. Nothing can go wrong now. Yuhu, where are you? It's my sister, Prime Ordeal. What's she doing here? Oh, boy! Itchy! Itchy! Oh, there you are, Itchy! Yes, here I am. Don't call me Itchy. Every time I hear that name, I have to scratch. Besides, what in the name of evil are you doing here, dear? Whoever and quake! Let's do! You clumsy clank brain calamities! I should scrap the lot of you! Itchy! Now look what you've done! And with good servants so hard to find, too! Ow. I, uh, I can't sleep. I think I'll read for a while. Know any good books, Balfrey? <laughs> Balfrey? He's gone. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. Jake Tracy! <laughs> what is it, Eddie? What's wrong? Balfrey's missing. And look, this is Hunter's net. That means Hunter must have captured Belfry. And that means Primeval has his miserable hands on Belfry. <laughs> Poor Belfry, what are we gonna do, Jake? Only one thing we can do, guys. Change clothes. Let's go, go, Buster!
tires, why don't you? Is this trip really necessary? Flight mode, GB. Primeval's captured Belfry. What? Belfry was my favorite. He didn't weigh much. Let's go. We're on our way, Belfry. Hang on. Uh, just how long are you planning on staying, dear sister? Not too long, I hope. Just a tiny visit, Itchy. A day or two. No more. I'll bet. Well, at least you didn't bring that little brat of yours this time. Mommy! Oh, no! Ooh, hey, look what I found, Mommy! Oh, 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 oh Snookums. Isn't that nice? Be careful, that Vaz is priceless! Such a dangerous robot around! Oh, poor little Stukums! Give him the nasty robot! Give him the wee! Say hello to Uncle Itchy Snookums! Don't call me Itchy. Hi, Itchy. Want to smell my flower? Now, now, Snookums. <laughs> Mustn't squirt Uncle Itchy. Stop calling me Itchy. Oh, don't be silly, little brother. <laughs> I've always called you Itchy. Ever since that time you had poison ivy. <laughs> Don't remind me! Oh, come on, Snookums. I'll show you where Uncle Itchy keeps his very best toys. See ya, Itchy! <laughs> Some ghosts will certainly have filled him with fear. He'll now do whatever I want. Just watch. He'll be ready to obey my every what? Go fish. <laughs> what in the name of evil is going on here? You ghosts are supposed to be scaring this puny bat out of his wits! Sorry, I'm evil. I guess we forgot. Forgot? I'll give you something you won't forget. Yeah, but I don't like those toys! Oh, no. I want to play with this toy! No, not my 
Bone Trawler! Yes, yes, get away, you hear me? This Slocum's a little itchy. He's not going to hurt your silly machine. Yeah, I just want to play it like you do, Uncle Itchy. Stop calling me Itchy! What you've done? Well, I've had it with you. You stopped that, Itchy? It was your own fault for getting in the way. Uh, Hunt quarters dead ahead, fellas. I'm bored. Want a new toy? And what would my little Snookums like? Yeah. Oh, I want to. I want to. I want that. That bat over there. I want it. I want it. I want it. No. Oh, you be quiet, Itchy. Of course, you may have the bat snookums. Now, just a minute. I need that bat for my world conquest. Oh, don't be silly, Itchy. Snookums is more important than your world conquest. <laughs> but, but... Oh, here, my precious, our widow baddie bat for Snookums. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, could this widow baddie bat say something? Yes. What is it? Just this. Oh, you little loudmouth. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye now. Hey, my bat! Stop that bat! Catch him! He's vital to my world conquest! <laughs> Now, come on! We gotta rescue Belfry! Tracy, 
Tracy. in the first place, Belfry. I'll show you, Jake. Tracy, head over to that big amplifier thing. Okay, don't get with me. still hurt from those loud belfry blasts nobody likes to be the victim of somebody else's loud sounds well, i couldn't agree more so please be considerate about how loud you play your tv and radio uh, right jake so true now if there's one thing i hate it's loud uh, hey jake jake cut it out oh come on turn it back up hey jake can you hear me
scared, Stiff. <laughs> You mightiness! Oh, he's fearsome, all right, but not fearsome enough. <laughs> I need more power. More power? But magnificent master, you already are the most powerful wizard that ever existed. <laughs> One of the most powerful, you rattle brain. <laughs> Oh, there was another wizard who might have been my equal in power. Man! Oh, the magician? But master, he lived back in King Arthur's time. Yes, but still, I want his powers. Added to mine, they would make me the greatest wizard of all time! So pull yourself together, scared stiff. I've got a job for you! I'm sending you and Haunter back to King Arthur's time. I want you to capture Merlin and bring him to me! Tonight, Jake. Yeah, uh, that's what you need to call old wizard funny, isn't it? Why don't you call him? We haven't talked to Fuddy in a long time. Better not, Eddie. He said I should only call him if it were an emergency. Oh, uh, you know, Jake, I, I was just wondering. We always call Fuddy when we have an emergency. Suppose Fuddy had an emergency. Would he be able to call us? I wouldn't worry about that, Eddie. I mean, what kind of trouble could Fuddy possibly get into? Well, Fuddy, I'm leaving for the Wizards Convention now. Uh, do try to stay out of trouble while I'm gone. Uh, I will, Merlin, I will. <laughs> oh, yes. And don't touch that magic staff. You don't know how to control it yet. Leave it alone. Oh, I, oh, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Mind you, do. <laughs> I forgot my bag. And don't touch that staff. Oh, I won't. I mean, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I say, girl, what's in it? I say, what, old boy? You're not kidding. Going back in time to King Arthur's age is a long trip. <laughs> well, there you are, you see. <laughs> Quite appears we made it here. <laughs> Blooming castles right down there. And that's where we'll find Merlin. Let's go get him. Right you are, chum. Uh, I know Merlin told me not to touch the magic staff. But how am I ever going to learn how to use it right if I don't practice? Alakazam! Oh, oops! <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was loaded. <laughs> You sure that's Merlin? 
He's awful short. Must be old boy. Who else would be making monsters? <laughs> Good monster. Take it easy. Let's get him. No, sit down. Lie down. Roll over. Right, you are. What's going on here? We did it! We captured Merlin the Magician! <laughs> right you are, old chap. <laughs> Primeval should be death and peace with us. <laughs> Call Fuddy Jake. Have him over for dinner or something. Uh, after all, he's done a lot for us. <laughs> You're right, Eddie. We should do something nice for Fuddy. There's a full moon. I'll give him a call. Wizard Fuddy, hear my call. Uh, why don't you come for dinner, y'all? <laughs> well, at least it rhymed. Oh, Jake, nice of you to ask, but I'm afraid I seem to have a previous invitation. A couple of bad ghosts are holding me off to one of the nastiest places I've ever seen. They think I'm Merlin, Jake. Help! Sounds like Primeval's had Fuddy captured. <laughs> I think you're right, Eddie. And you know what that means? Into uniform! Let's go! Go! Thing. As soon as Prime Evil finds out Fuddy's not Merlin, Fuddy's gonna be in even more trouble. You blithering, brainless bumblers! This worthless wizard isn't Merlin! This is just some minor apprentice! You botched it again! Goodness gracious me! Well, you're not a very nice person, are you? No, you idiot! I'm evil! Prime evil! And you are my prisoner! Goodness gracious! <laughs> 
This is the most scariest dungeon I've ever seen. <gasps> it's slimy too. Oh, well, at least there aren't any rats. There, hiya, chum. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, ghost rat. Well, well, I'll take care of you, uh, Ella Kazam. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Jum. This is great. Uh, I'll never get the hang of this thing. Uh, hey, you did me a favor, and I'm gonna do you one. You like jokes? What do you call a mouse on a diet? Hungry? Diet? Hungry? Don't get it. That's funny stuff. Good grief! I hope the Ghostbusters find me soon before this rat's bad jokes drive me crazy. Evil's chamber is right through that door, Tracy. Any sign of Fuddy? <laughs> no. Rat-a-rat! <laughs> Hold it. Yeah, right here, you awful nasty. Rat-a-rat, as long as we have that idiot magician a prisoner in the dungeon, Perhaps we can make a trade. Go and tell Merlin the Magician that I will keep his apprentice a prisoner forever unless he turns over all his magic powers to me. <laughs> right away, you despicable mess. <laughs> Jake, did you hear that? I sure did, Eddie. We can't let Merlin give up his powers. We better move fast. But how are we ever gonna find the dungeon, Jake? Here comes our guide, Eddie. Shh. Nab him, Tracy. Okay, okay. <laughs> we don't need the ghost robot's body, Tracy. We need his head. <laughs> nice work, Tracy. Scared Stiff will be able to lead us right to the dungeon. I just hope we can rescue Fuddy before Merlin has to give all his powers to Prime Evil. not to play with that magic staff. Hey! Just look at this mess. It's hideous. Hey! What about me? You're pretty hideous, too, yes. Delivering Primeval's message may take longer than I thought. Hi uh, there. Excuse me, old chap. But I found scared stiffs wandering around, honkorkers bumping into things, and brought him to you. I thought he might be sick. Looks different somehow. Yes, he looks more intelligent than usual. He's lost his head, you fool. Why, dash it all, so he has. How did that happen?
A minky? An ape? The ghost yell busters! They must be here, trying to rescue that foolish magician! Haunter, get Fangster and Scarecrow! Tell them we're going to bust the ghost yell busters! <laughs> Okay, Scared Stiff. Now, where's Fuddy? Yeah, speak up unless you want to be rusted solid. No, not water. I'll tell you. He's in there. Ha, into the road. Take out that door, Tracy. No problem. And hurry. No telling what horrible monsters poor old Fuddy's been facing in there. <laughs> No, no more bad jokes. Try this for a punchline, rat. Hey, wait, wait, I've got a million of them. Where was the giant ghost rat when the lights went out? In the dark, get it? Ah, 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 ah. Funny, are you all right? Uh, uh, you came just in time. Those jokes were about to turn my brain to mush. Well, there's no time to rest, buddy. We have to get out of here. Too late, ghost bunglers. I'm afraid all of you are going to be staying here permanently. <laughs> Looks like busting time, boys. Hit it. said you wanted me to give you a lesson in magic. Well, I'd be glad to oblige. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, pardon me, Fuddy. Uh, uh, let me just show you how to use this staff. Alakazam! Next time, Merlin! Next time! I'm sorry I disobeyed you and played with the magic stuff. Honest, I won't do it again. Really, Merlin? I think he's learned his lesson. Well, maybe so. As a matter of fact, I think I'll let him use the magic staff again. Oh, really? When? As soon as we get home, Fuddy. You'll need it. <laughs> to clean up the mess you made. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Looks like this case is all cleaned up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. Uh -huh. In today's show, Fuddy did something he wasn't supposed to do when he got into trouble. He knew he wasn't supposed to touch the magic staff, but he did it anyway. 
And as a result, he caught a lot of problems. When your parents make rules, they aren't making them just to spoil your fun. Your parents make rules in order to keep you safe and healthy. And do you know why they do that? Because they love you. See you again soon. In a monster movie, you get it, Tracy. <laughs> Hurry, you big ape, or I'll answer it by shout. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Anyone there? This is Prince Otis. Prince Otis? Hey, I read about him. Tomorrow the prince is going to be crowned king of Petronia. Your Royal Majesty, this is Jake Kong, at your service, Your Highnessy. I need your help. For the past ten years, the Petronium Royal Crown has been kept hidden in England's Tower of London. Now that I'm going to become king, the crown is to be returned to my country. But I'm worried that it'll be stolen by ghosts. Ghosts? What makes you think that? The Royal Secret Service overheard a radio transmission from Prime Evil. Prime evil? Well, there's no time to waste. We're on our way to England, Your Excellency. Oh, thanks, jolly good. Duke Fenwick will be waiting for you at the Tower of London. Hey, guys, what do you say we go in uniform? Why not? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Go!
absorbers. Why don't you guys go on a diet? <laughs> Sorry about that, GB. Into flight mode. You two steal the crown, take it to Petronia. According to their royal law, whoever possesses the crown must be made their king. When you're king, you'll claim it all for me. Sounds positively smashing. I say, we're on our way. Cheerio. England. Nothing makes me feel better than a change of scenery. It's very nice of you to show us around, Duke Fenwick. It's an old suit of armor, Tracy. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about, Duke Fenwick. We'll protect the prince's crown. It isn't only the crown. I'm worried that the royal jewels might be stolen, too. Why is that? The reason the prince sent me to England was to sell his jewels. You see, our kingdom is very poor. This is the famous Star Diamond, the prince's most prized possession. But he wants to sell it, to buy food and clothing for our people. How about that? Prince Otis must be an okay guy. Duke, you have nothing to worry about. We Ghostbusters haven't failed yet. Thank you. I feel better. Now, where's the crown and the rest of the jewels? They're being guarded at the top floor of the tower. Up those stairs. Then let's get going. The tower's five stories tall? Oh. Next time we take a job, make sure it includes elevators. And put this bright one with the others. <laughs> Guess. Hunter, show them how rude we are. My displeasure. Let me out of here! What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> Don't they look like a couple of fussy caterpillars? <laughs> well, my bubbleizer will get them out of here. <laughs> Of the crown. And. The... Where is it? There is what? The Star Diamond! Oh, it's gone! What happened to it? Don't know. And don't jolly care. All I want is my crown. <laughs> I say, a perfect fit. <laughs> now on to Petronia, where I shall become king. We are not going anywhere until I find my diamond. Holy... <sighs> One more flight. Let go. Uh-oh, looks like double bubble trouble. Oh, look. <laughs> that animal's wearing my... Diamond. Hand it over. Do what she says, if you know what's good for you. Run, Tracy. We'll stop him. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Is that so? Hey, wait a hey, come not on, fair. fair. Oh, you expect us to be fair. <laughs> I'll teach that ape to make a monkey out of me. There he is.
This is the only way he could have gone. I see. Look at that. Who does he think he's fooling? Not me. In fact, darling, I'd say he's in a rather ticklish situation. <laughs> For the finishing touch. <laughs> the Star Diamond. Oh, at last. It's mine. Good. Now, let's go to Petronia. So I can become king. <laughs> Cheerio! So that's Primeval's plan, to make Haunter king! We've got to stop that! <laughs> Try to hit the point of that lance! Whoa! <laughs> Quick, to the ghost buggy! Hurry! Oh, terrific! We're completely lost! We'll never catch up with Haunter and Mysteria! It doesn't make sense. According to my map, we should be nearly... Nah, now I know what's wrong. The map's upside down. Hey, everything you guys do is upside down. Let's see. Uh-oh. Here's a place called Haunted Mountain. You wouldn't consider turning around, would you? No, Eddie. Just read the map. Make a right turn through that mountain pass. Yeah, now I know where we're headed. So do I. Headed for trouble. There's Haunted Mountain. Creepy looking, huh? Petronia's on the other side. Haunter and Mysteria have got to be around. Hey, look! There they are! Got GB snow outfit, Tracy? Uh-huh. Now they expect me to ski. Well, I always knew the Ghostbusters were going downhill. Let's get them. You know, darling, I was thinking, since we have the crown, why should we give Petronius gold to Primeval? You don't mean... Oh, yes, I do. Hmm, a splendid idea, Mysteria. You'll be king, and I, darling, can be queen. And we'll keep all the gold for ourselves. What did you say? <laughs> just a little joke. <laughs> and how about just a little bolt? Here come those ghost bunglers! Those blimeys are catching up. We've got to lose them. Take the shortcut through Haunted Mountain. Oh, but they'll just follow us. Let them! In fact, I hope they do. The mountain spirit lives on Haunted Mountain. I'll see to it that it takes care of the ghost busters once and for all. <laughs> They go. Maybe they went into that canyon. <laughs> Switch on GB Super Duper Scooper. <laughs> Get going, GB. Dig an escape tunnel. Work, work, work. That's all I do. It's getting closer. Hurry, hurry, faster. <laughs> we get a pretty good disappearing act. Yep, but if we're going to catch Mysteria and Haunter, we'd better start digging up. Go! I think I froze my tailpipe. Everyone on full alert. So keep one eye out for Mysteria and Haunter, and the other eye out for the snow monster. Looks like we've got double trouble. Get a load of the mountain spirit. It's even more awesome. See, we'd love to see in chat, but we have a train to catch. 
Thanks, the Orient Express. Oh, how fortunate. Now we can go to Petronia in style. We've got to stop them! If the mountain spirit doesn't stop us first. Look! <laughs> Anything in your ghost pack to help us? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> All right. Our freeze o -matic. <laughs> Nice work, Tracy. It turned to solid ice. Yeah, it'll take a week for the monster to defrost. Come on. We gotta catch up with Haunter and Mysteria. Oh, this is the only way to travel. Faster, they're getting away! If you want fast, go ride a rocket. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ready, set, jump! <laughs> yes, those infernal ghostbusters. They're in the passenger car! My ghost-sniffing schnozzle is picking them up. Maybe they're in disguise. Hunter, that beard's a fake. Take it off! How dare you! Oh, sorry! Make believe that never happened, okay, huh? <laughs> Eddie, you've got to be more careful. Now that woman is obviously mysterious. Watch this. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Forget it, Tracy. My nose isn't working. It must be out of odor. <laughs> now what'll we do? Tracy and I will check the cars up front. You check the caboose. Right. You ready or not, here I come. I'd say that caboose needs setting loose. Yeah, we good idea. Goodbye. And good riddance. Whoa, what was that? Why do I have the feeling I'm in a heap of trouble? Get out! Yeah. Or better yet, get help! Eddie, hang in there! We'll save you! All right, now what? Okay, Tracy, get GB into choo-choo mode. Choo-choo? You got a cold or something? Now we're rid of all three of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're coming! Whoa! Yeah, I'm slowing down. Yeah! yourself and me too that's it you're gonna make it <laughs> all right tracy <laughs> come on guys mysteria and hunter have a big head start on us i bet they've already reached petronia hmm petronia's on the other side of that mountain ridge maybe we can take a shortcut Turn on the super duper scooper. Again? I'm too poop -po -po to scoop. Yes, I have no choice. 
There it is. My future palace. You mean my palace. I'm going to be queen. Give it back. And I want the star diamond too. How dare you. It's mine. What's going on? Where are the Ghostbusters? It's mine! I say, what's the happening? Ground the shaking. ground's shaking! Yes. Sorry we're late. We just wanted to congratulate you two. Well, after all, you beat us here, so we want to give you a prize. A prize? What are you talking about? Well, since you like to travel in style, we thought we'd give you a first-class, one-way trip back to Hot Quarters. Good catch, Eddie! I don't know how to thank you. And now, I must see about selling the jewels. No, Prince Otis. You don't have to sell your royal jewels. I don't understand. My people are poor. Very poor. Not anymore. Haunted Mountain is almost solid gold. Your country is rich. Very rich. Gold? Wonderful. Now I can feed and clothe my people. I can build schools and libraries. A and as a reward, I'll buy you all whatever you want. A banana tree. No, Tracy, no bananas. Thank you, Prince, but we don't want any reward. Speak for yourself. I want a color TV, a computer, a lifetime supply of cookies, an amusement park, a ton of ice cream, a pony, an airplane, a swimming pool. No, two swimming pools. <laughs> one hot and one cold. And a boat. A big, big, big boat. In today's story, Haunter and Mysteria were caught just before they stole the royal jewels. Yeah, but I'll bet they didn't learn anything from it. What do you think they should have learned, Belfry? They should have learned that stealing won't get you anywhere. Especially if you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, stealing is wrong, and you'll never feel right about yourself, even if no one finds out about it. Uh, sounds like good advice. Too bad Haunter and Mysteria don't get it. But we know you do. Primeval's been quiet for a while. Huh, let's see what's happening elsewhere in the universe. What's this? Ah, Durham Castle in Fairy Tale Land. <gasps> and beautiful as always. And oh, look! Princess Gwendolyn and Prince Delvin are getting married. Oh! How romantic! <laughs> 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 
And dost thou, Princess Gwendolyn, take ye, Prince Gelwyn, to love and honor? No, she doesn't. <gasps> it's that wicked ghost, Gimgul. Oh, no. Delwyn! Don't worry, dearest. I'll... Delwyn! He's gone! Oh, what have you done with my prince? Gwendolyn, what happened? What did Gimgul do to Prince Delvin? Gwendolyn! This looks like a job for the... Ghostbusters, huh? Ghostbusters, that's who we are. Okay, okay. <laughs> that tickles. Stop laughing. Someone's calling us. <laughs> so what? You guys are a joke anyway. Ghostbusters, Jake speaking. It's Madam Y. Trouble in fairy tale land? Uh, Madam, are you feeling all right? Is there really a fairy tale land? I don't know. Well, I'd like to believe there is. Madam, where is this place? It's just past the end of the rainbow. And hurry! I think you boys are needed there now. Okay, we're on our way. Yeah, these ghost dusters are going ghost busting. Let's go ghost busting! GB? <laughs> Not now. I was dreaming about this terrific looking convertible. Get your mind off cars and switch to flight mode. Quick! Flight mode? Sure, you guys are airheads anyway. <laughs> All right, we're in. Flight? Now which way do I go? Which way? Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm not sure, GB. You're not sure? I'd expect that from Eddie, not you. Look, why don't we just go back home? You can have a nice warm glass of milk, and th then... We can't do that. We're on a mission. Top priority. Now let's hoist anchor and really get moving. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. Which way? Or is that asking too much? Uh, that way. No offense, Eddie, but I think you've gone loco. What are we doing up here anyway? We have to rescue a princess who lives just beyond the rainbow. Beyond the rainbow? You got clouds in your head? Just move it, GB. There must be a rainbow around here somewhere. Yeah, look! A rainbow! Turn left, GB. Jake, look! We must be in fairy tale land. It's beautiful. After tomorrow, I'll be the ruler of the richest kingdom in the land. But Kimgo, the 
princess still refuses to marry you. She'll change her mind when I get through with her. Are you going to put a spell on her with the scepter? I find such crude methods distasteful. No, I'll... What's that? Oh, I don't know, sire. Strangers. Strangers, eh? Well, take your ghost patrol and get rid of them. Yes, Gimbal. I don't want anyone spoiling my plans now. There's the castle. Now, let's see. Madam said to find Prince Delwyn. Can I look, Jake? We've got a welcoming committee. Yeah, uh, they don't look too friendly. Uh-oh, my nose is twitching. They're ghost knights. Should we bust them? Not yet. We're not looking for trouble. We're looking for Prince Delwyn. Tracy, get us out of here. Okie dokie. Faster, GB. They're gaining on us. Head for that cave. That's the last we'll see of them. I wonder why they gave up. Maybe they're afraid of the dark. Uh, I hate to say this, fellas, but I don't think we're alone. It's a monster! Get out of my cave! Uh, you bet! Hey, wait for me! Come on, guys, head for the outside. I'm coming, Jake. My feet can't go as fast as my head tells them to. Monster, he's just a little troll. Hey, you're not a ghost patrol. No, we're, we're Ghostbusters. And we're looking for Prince Delwyn. Really? Well, you're looking at him. What? You're the prince? <laughs> well, you're a troll. Yeah. Gimgold put a spell on me and turned me into an ugly troll. He wants to marry the Princess Gwendolyn himself so he can rule the kingdom. <laughs> And I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, don't say that! Why don't you marry her anyway? <sighs> no, I can't. You see, she doesn't know I'm the prince. Well, maybe you should tell her. No, you don't understand. I can't. You see, after the spell was put on me, I hid outside in the bushes under Gwendolyn's window. And that night, I heard her crying. <sighs> my heart seeing my dear Gwendolyn so upset, so I tried to comfort her. Please, don't cry, princess. What? Who's that? Your voice sounds familiar. Could it be my handsome prince? Please, come out where I can see you. Oh, an ugly troll. Go away, you horrible thing. She found me repulsive. That is why she must never know who I really am. I want her to remember me only as I once was, a handsome prince. Don't give up yet, Delwyn. There has to be a way to break the spell. I'm not so sure. Gimgol's magic is very strong. But it's not me I'm worried about. I'm afraid for my dear Gwendolyn. 
I wish there was some way to free her, but she's guarded by Gimgul's ghost patrol. Well, maybe so, but we're the Ghostbusters. We'll help you free your princess. Will you? Thank you. But you must promise not to tell Gwendolyn I'm the prince. I still want her to remember me as a handsome young man, not as a hideous troll. Don't worry, Delwyn. You'll be a prince again. We promise. I still wish you'd let me fly you in. Thanks, GB, but you'd be spotted. This way we can sneak in. Ready, guys? Yo, I am. Then let's go, GB. Hang on. <laughs> Yes, but we must get over this wall. At any moment, we could be spotted. You already have been spotted. <clears throat> it's Kim Cool. Uh, hi. Sorry to drop in unannounced. Where are the Ghostbusters? Oh, the Ghostbusters. Well, too bad you can't hang around for my wedding. But you have somewhere else to go. Actually, we don't. Do we, Tracy? Uh, uh. Oh, but you do. This little piggy went to market. Hey, wait! Cut it out! This little piggy stayed home. Yo! Home by us! Quick thinking, Tracy! Oh, thanks. That was a close call. Everyone all right? I'm okie dokie. Me too. But we still have to get into that castle. Yeah, how are we gonna do that, Jake? There's the answer. The secret tunnel. I forgot about it. It leads inside the castle. Great, Dylan. That's our way in. This is it. This bridge will take us right back into the castle. Come on, Gwendolyn needs us. He's right. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters! I don't like the looks of this. Eddie, come on. Shaking the bridge! Hey, it's not me! Oh no! Behind you! Look! Hey, you two! Cut it out! <laughs> Cut it out? Just what we had in mind. Oh no! Look out! Oh! Ta-ta for now, ghost bunglers! You're getting tired of hanging around this place. Then let's get out of here, now! Uh, Ghostbusters, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Oh, oh, no! Climb, guys! Keep... Never find a way into the castle and rescue Gwendolyn. We're beaten. Hold on, Delwyn. My Grandpa Kong always says you're not beaten until you quit trying. And we're not about to quit. Right, guys? Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Ghostbusters. Choice. For Delwyn's sake, I will marry you. 
Excellent. Till tomorrow, then. Oh, what's happened to you? Where are you? I'm so worried. This way to the princess. That's right, no thing. <laughs> now, Eddie is a ghost knight. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Now we all look like Gimgol's skeleton crew. I say this ghost busting business is jolly fun. <laughs> Tracy, where'd he go? He found a secret panel. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be with the princess. <coughs> what? Speak up! <laughs> Wait a minute. You're no ghost. <laughs> ah, let him go. Those ghostbusters are too late. In a few minutes, I'll be married to the princess. And I shall be ruler of this land at last. Now I know what a sardine feels like. What's that music? It sounds like the wedding march. No. Just now, Peter Swindlin. Take me, Gimgo. I... I... I can't hear you. I... I said... No! Oh, no, not again. You're too late, you troublesome troll. The princess is mine. Oh, go away, you horrible troll. If I marry Gimgo, my prince will be safe. She's doing that for me. She loves you. Tell her who you are. No, I can't. I'm too ugly, but I have to do something. Unhand her, Gimgul! Make me, if you can. <laughs> oh! Oh! Trolls! Ghouls! And now apes! Oh, what a day! I have had enough of your meddling. Guards! Get them! Don't bother, Gimgul. I'll deliver myself. Have some gum! JC, look out! Way to go, Trace! Yeah, nice work. Oh no, the troll needs help. My spell scepter will take care of you. You've missed. Not this time, troll. Enjoy your flight. As for the rest of you... Zap them, Jake! Right! Oh, no! Oh, yes! And now... Oh! Mind if I drop in? Oh, you troublesome troll, I'll... Sorry, your history, Gimgool! Thanks, guys. My heroes, thanks to all of you, my kingdom is safe once again. We couldn't have done it without the troll. I know, and I owe him an apology. Friend troll, I am ashamed. I was very mean to you, and yet you came to my rescue. Oh, please forgive me, my beautiful and brave troll friend. Oh, I'm... I'm me again. Oh, Darwin, it's you. You are the troll. Yes, my darling, but now the spell has been broken by your kiss. Gee, Gwendolyn's kiss broke the spell just like in a real fairy tale. That's right, Eddie. And do you know what happens next in a fairy tale? Uh, yeah. They, they all live, live happily ever after. after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love happy endings. Me too, madam. But the best part was when the princess kissed the troll, she didn't know it was her prince. Yeah, she liked him anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that's important to remember. We should accept people for who they are, not what they look like. Right on. years ago by the pharaoh Acton. I want it back. How did you get it? How do you think? I stole it. Yeah, but boss, it's in the Middle East Museum. That's the most heavily guarded museum in the world. I know that. It's filled with alarms and traps and... <laughs> Don't you think I know that, too, that breath? But I found just the ghosts I need to break into the museum and get the diamond! And who might that be? Oh, oh, Emperor of Evil! What? When Cavity gave him the old too scary glare, <laughs> boy, was he frightened. <laughs> I think nothing of it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think it was me. Ever since you got that guitar, all you think about is making music instead of being scary. <laughs> right. Come on, we've got more spooking to do. I don't think I'm gonna like this! <laughs> Trust me! <laughs> 
scared stiff. I know what I'm doing. This is the Ghostbusters office. They can't come to the phone right now. Answer, Bone. They've gone away on a trip to Egypt to look for their mummies. Knock it off, Ansel Bone. Gotcha. Oh. Ghostbusters here. <laughs> you say some ghosts are up to some mischief? <laughs> okay, we'll see what we can do. Let's go, go! but I don't see anything. Hey, it's the Ghostbusters. Here's our chance to make the big time. If we do a job on the Ghostbusters, Prime Evil might hear about it. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, you can count me out, Big Tooth. You guys are looking for trouble. Gee, Flossie, you're no fun anymore. Come on, we'll do it without her. Wait a minute. The old ghost sniffer is picking up some activity. And it's never been wrong yet. <laughs> See them? Hey, I'll teach you to mess with my hubcaps. Off to the racer. Where'd they go? There, that way. No, that way. Time to send these pests back to Ghost Limbo. That's what you think. Hey, there's another ghost. That music, it's... it's beautiful. Oh, but it's making me sleepy. <laughs> All right, that guitar's good for something after all. I'm only helping you because you're my friends. I still don't like what you were doing. Whatever. Come on, let's bite our way out of this net. Some kind of guitar. It put us all to sleep. Hey, those ghosts are getting loose. No chance. They're going to ghost limbo. Wait. Now what? Don't send them to ghost limbo. They're really not bad ghosts. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, really. I don't know. You guys have been scaring a lot of people. Hey, just joking around, honest. We didn't do anything really spooky here. It's true. Give us a chance, and I promise we won't scare anybody else. Except maybe on Halloween. What do you guys think? Should we let them go? 
Sure, they're harmless. <clears throat> Two votes yes, one vote no. Okay, we'll give you a chance, but you'd better not blow it. Let him loose, Trace. Don't forget, any more trouble and we'll be back here in a flash. Yeah, they gone. <laughs> yeah, we shuffled the Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Bossy. Good work? I meant what I said when I promised we wouldn't get into any more trouble. Oh, come on, Bossy. You're too scary, too. We ghosts don't have to tell the truth. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe it's time we change that. What's that? I don't know. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what to do! <laughs> What's the matter, Trace? Uh, tooth scaries. The tooth scaries? You don't think they meant what they said about being good? Nope. Okay, let's go back and see what they're up to. Okay, donkey. Big Tooth is right. Ghosts don't have to tell the truth. Glad you agree with me, Prime, old buddy. Don't call me Prime and never call me Buddy! <laughs> Oh, sir, I'd have uh, Mr. Uh, Prime, uh, uh, Mr. Evil. I mean, oh, <laughs> it sure got hot all of a sudden. Now, I have a job for you, Tooth Scaries. <laughs> First, we go to Haunt Quarters. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Don't forget. We promised the Ghostbusters. Ghost Busters? That's right, Mr. Um, uh, uh, Evil. We promised we wouldn't get in trouble, so we can't go with you. You misunderstood. I didn't ask you to go to Haunt Quarters. I told you you were going. <laughs> He's got the scaries. They're gone. But what would he want with them? Good question. I wish I had a good answer. We've got to find out what they're up to. Uh, Madam Y. Madam Y. Maybe she can tell us. Good thinking, Trace. Let's go. <laughs> Your small and insignificant talents. Watch. The diamond of the Nile, the largest diamond in the world. I want it, but it's in the most heavily guarded museum in the world. How are you going to get him to get it? I'm not. You are. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you can count me out. I don't steal from anybody. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to the city. You'll get back when I tell you to. <laughs> Freezing. Please, Blossy, do what he says. Oh, no, uh, all right, I'll do what you want. But first, unfreeze Sweet Tooth. <laughs> that was a mouthful of icicles. Nah. Here's the plan. We'll begin by using your music. Mm. 
Prime Evil must be planning to use the Tooth Scaries. Yeah, but for what? Hmm. I think I've got something. Wow! What a rock! It surely is something! What? I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, that's got to be the biggest diamond this side of Texas. The Diamond of the Nile. He wouldn't be foolish enough to try to steal that from the museum. Prime Evil's not foolish. He's smart. We better find out what he's up to. Yeah, okay, Flossy. This is our big chance. Get that magic guitar going. I don't like this. There's no choice. Prime Evil's watching us in his view screen. If we don't do what he says, he'll freeze us. Oh, all right. What's that music? Oh, it's so pretty. I think I'll just sit down and uh, listen. Mm. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, let's go inside. Okay, too scary. Let's chomp that diamond out of there. It's the alarm. Now, quick, help me chew this rock loose before we get caught. Uh-oh, the alarm's been set off. Yeah, but look, the guards are asleep. They sure are sound asleep. Gee, how are we gonna get in? Sorry we have to do it, but there's only one way. Go to it, Trace. Okie dokie. Yeah, I hear the noise. So this is how you guys stay out of trouble, huh? A Ghostbuster. Uh oh, look out! I got it! Excellent! After 4,000 years, the Diamond of the Nile is mine again! Hold on, Primeval! That diamond doesn't belong to you! It will in a minute! Now, hand it over! No chance, Prime! <laughs> That puny dematerializer won't affect me. Don't give it to him, Big Tooth. Stay out of it, Flossy. Give me the diamond, and you will have riches and power beyond your wildest dream. Yeah, and you'll also know that you're nothing but a thief. Yeah, that's not true. I'm not a thief. I was just doing a, a, a favor for Prime Evil. Then don't give it to him. We're not bad, not like Primeval, and you know it. She's right, Big Tooth. This is your second chance. Make the most of it. I don't know why I'm doing this, but okay. My diamond! Blast! You'll pay for that! Credit card man. <laughs> hey, what? what happened? The reflected light from that diamond, it's blinding him. Stop it! Stop it! I can't see! You wanna play? Alright, try this! Uh-oh! The beam hit the ceiling! Yeah, it's coming loose! No problem. And over the 
that time under this museum is history. Quick, Jake, turn the light on him again. Right. <laughs> Stop him before he wrecks the whole museum. Put the dematerializer on max power and aim it at the diamond. Max, we've never used that much power. There's no telling what will. No time to talk, Eddie. Do it. Okay, full power. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I forgot about the ceiling! Tracy, are you all right? He said he's proud of you, and we are too. You made the right choice this time. Yeah, we felt good when we were doing the right thing. Music star. We're gonna be Herodes. Aw, oh, I'm not that good. Sure you are, boss. Show them. Just don't put them to sleep. <laughs> okay. Gang, the Tooth Scaries had a hard decision to make in today's show, but I think they made the right choice. Boy, can you believe how those bad guys turned around and became good guys? Yes, I can, because I saw them do those good things. And people are the same way. Everyone can change for the better. You can, and you can, and you can. Trouble. Now, 
Time to try the memory control, huh? Wait! What is it now, Bat Breath? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, uh, exactly what does the memory controller do? Very simple. It removes all good memories and replaces them with mean, <laughs> nasty, <laughs> and evil memories. <laughs> Well? Yeah, well, what? Did it work? Did it replace all your good memories with mean nasties? I don't know. I never had anything but mean nasty memories. <laughs> I forgot about that, but I've got a better idea. Long jump, apparition. Go capture the ape Tracy. Bring him here. I know he's got good memories, but if we take them away and replace them with mean and nasty memories, he'll forget those ghost bozos and work for evil. <laughs> for me! Get it. Uniform. Then we'll check with Madam Y. Let's go, Ghostbusters! And head for Madam Wise. Tracy's missing. Tracy's missing? Why didn't you say so? Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> now my memory controller will do its job. It didn't do anything for me, boss. How's it supposed to work? Watch the screen. Tracy is remembering a little meeting we had with the ghost girl. Busters a long time ago. <laughs> when they came to Haunt Quarters to rescue that brat Corky and his friend. Jump in, guys. Let's go. Stop them. Was 
close. And this will be closer. Dive, dive. We've got to get them off our tail. Quick, Tracy, turn on that ghost duster. They thought they'd lost me, but I knew better. There was one more problem in their way. It worked! But now we can't find that hole we broke through. No problem. Come on, you guys. This smoke isn't gonna last forever. We gotta get out of here. Here it goes. <laughs> Tracy didn't realize that even his great strength couldn't break through the walls of Haunt Quarters. Uh, uh, wait a minute. It's, uh, uh, that's not what happened. Uh, Tracy broke through the ceiling of Haunt Quarters. Uh, 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 and the Ghostbuster got out. Enough, Gratterat. You missed the point. The memory controller has changed Tracy's memory. Now he remembers what happened this way, with me winning. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> when I'm finished with him, Tracy will remember everything my way, and he'll do whatever I say. <laughs> You see what's happened to Tracy, Madam Why? Nothing. Nothing at all. I can't understand why. <gasps> Wait! It's coming clearer. Prime Evil. No! Well, what's going on? I keep getting an image of Prime Evil. There it is again! There is no sign of Tracy. Wherever he is, Prime Evil's got something to do with it. Okay, let's check out Haunt Quarters. Thanks, Madam Y. Don't know what we'd do without you. There's a secret door here someplace. Right. We used it one time. <laughs> well, Prime Evil's got Tracy, all right. What are they doing to him? I'm not sure. It's time to change another of Tracy's memories. Remember this? This was the time when the ghost busters were foolish enough to try to fight my underwater octopus apparition. Oh, I can't look. <laughs> grab them, my pet. Grab them. Fire! The ghost yeah, busters thought they could stop us with their unique ghost cover. Uh-oh! Uh -oh, duck! <laughs> but those ghost bunglers weren't even close! That's not what happened. Prime Evil's the one who got hit with the ghost gummer balls. Shh, listen. You did it again, boss. A few more hours in the memory controller, and that monkey will think you're the greatest thing since scrambled eggs. <laughs> I am the greatest thing since scrambled eggs. <laughs> They're changing Tracy's eggs. I mean, memory. In one half hour, the gorilla's mind will belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> what an evil genius I am! In a few more minutes, my memory controller will change Tracy's happy memories to wonderful evil ones, and he will become my slave! <laughs> it gives me the creeps. We gotta do something! Yeah, we got less than 30 minutes to do it in! Excellent! <laughs> the memory controller is on automatic! It's time to prepare a welcoming party for our new slave. 
Here's our chance. Let's get down there. Don't worry, old buddy. We'll get your memory fixed up. You can count on your pals. There must be a way to reverse this and change Tracy's memories back to normal. Let's start with this one. Okay, here comes Tracy's memory on the screen. I remember that. It's the time when Tracy was captured by the great ghost gorilla. You won't get away that easily, Earthling. <laughs> I'm twice as big as you. Gotcha. Oh, my! Hey, Tracy's a good wrestler! And remember, Chibi wasn't sure if he wanted to help Tracy or not. I can't take off and leave Tracy. I gotta help him. Maybe the Fright Freezer will be good for something after all. Cool it, Ghost Gorilla. Whoa, whoa, stop the machine. That's where Primeval has mixed up Tracy's memory. You're right. So we'll rewind the memory and change it back to the truth. Let's find the exact spot where Primeval changed Tracy's memory. There! Tracy's memory should go back to the truth if I push this button. Cool it, Ghost Gorilla! Okay, that's more like it! It worked, but we've got a lot more to fix and only 25 minutes to do it in! Forget it, Ghostbusters! You're not going to fix anything! Come on, scared stiff! Yes, get him! <laughs> Maybe we ought to get a little help! You, Timmy Tinhead! Yes, yes! Show a little metal for once! Come on! Oh, all right. Eddie, I have to keep working on Tracy's memory. Can you get them away from here just for a few minutes? I... Uh, sure I can. You ghosts couldn't catch a cold in a snowstorm. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll see about that. Only 20 minutes to go. track to fix. I hope there's enough time. Jake here. Where are you, Eddie? 
I wish I knew! I lost the ghosts, but now I'm in some kind of a secret tunnel! Use the GB finder, and you'd better get back here quick. Time's almost run out! Okay, but be careful. Braderat must have told Primeval what we're doing. Right. Hang on, Tracy. Not much more to do. According to the GB finder, I'm getting closer to Jake. But I gotta get out of this tunnel before I really get scared. Like, right now. Prime Evil! <laughs> Wait a minute! Yeah, yeah, you can't push me around. Yeah, 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 statue. Whoa! Eddie! Boy, am I glad you made it. Time's almost run out, but this switch should remove Tracy's last bad memory. Then it's time for you to have a few bad memories, ghost bungler. <laughs> You didn't really think you could stop my work on the ape, did you? You bet I did. Rise, Tracy! Jake, are you sure you fixed Tracy's memory? I, I'm not sure. Time was running out. Rise, and join me in the evil world of ghosts! Going to primeval. Yeah, we gotta help him. <laughs> Too late. He's mine. <laughs> what are you doing? Put me down. Tracy's okay. All right, that's gnarly. Put me down, you overgrown baboon. If I get my hands loose, you're <laughs> monkey's uncle. <laughs> Let's give Primeval a taste of his own medicine. Some good memories. No! Don't do it! No! Come on, let's get out of here before Prime's rotten friends show up. Little creature. Sweet little creature, me. Have you planned the party for the Girl Scouts apparition? Mm -hmm. Don't forget, we'll need lots of milk and cookies. Oh, and Log John. Don't forget to get everything ready for the model boat contest. Oh, what fun! <laughs> <laughs> In today's story, Jake had to work hard to bring Tracy's memory back. But he kept on trying, even when it seemed as though he'd never do it. And he did it! You probably had the same feeling sometime when you thought you'd never finish your homework. The next time you think you've got too much to do and you feel like giving up, think about Jake and stick with it. And I'll bet you, you'll get your job done too.
at last! I found the final piece of the arch! The lost bone of the werewolf! <laughs> With this, not even the Ghostbusters will be able to stop me! <laughs> but I take over a world that haunted half-wit primeval will answer to me! <laughs> Wait till primeval hears about this! <laughs> Haunted half wit His words exactly, your primeness. <laughs> Fankstar will pay dearly for this. Why don't you make scared stiff and Mysteria go get him? <laughs> Not yet. If he has a way to stop the... Ghostbusters, I want to know... What it is! We'll keep an eye on Thankster. When we know what he's up to, Mysteria and Boltbane can bring him to me! <laughs> I have something for him. taken astray like that. I'm sure he's much smarter than he seems. You're right about that. Eddie always comes through in a pinch. Uh, I meant the dog. There's nothing on the collar. Nope, and no one reported him missing. Can I keep a man, Jesse? Oh, please. I don't know, Corky. It's a big job to take care of a pet. It means a lot of responsibility. It's not always that easy to have an animal around. She's got a point there. I promise I'll take real good care of him. Well, <laughs> if it's all right with Jake. You bet. We had a feeling you might want him. <laughs> oh, we're sorry, but the Ghostbusters are unable to bust ghosts at the present time. <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> what? We'll be right there. <laughs> Fangster is back. He's stealing dogs all over the city. Let's go! Go! Ghostbusters in action? Not this time, Corky. Somebody has to keep an eye on your new dog. He'll be okay if we shut the door. You know, this place isn't exactly dog-proof. He might even find a way to get out and get lost or hurt. Gosh, I'm gonna miss out on everything. I told you, Corky, having a pet means responsibilities. 
and I'll take good care of them till I get back. You stay here. Belfry will keep you company. <laughs> Thanks a lot. This is Jessica Ray with a special bulletin. The Ghostbusters have rushed to the scene where Fangster, the powerful werewolf of the future, is stalking our city. Fangster is stealing dogs. We don't yet know why, but fortunately, the Ghostbusters are on the job doing what they do best. I can never remember how this thing works. Tracy, the Fanger Clanger. How are you ghost-busting goo brains planning to get me in there? I don't think so. Exactly what I had in mind. Materializer. So long, Fangster. It's been a howl. <laughs> no. So long, ghost suckers. <laughs> Tracy, quick! Where'd you leave the ghost buggy? <laughs> A parking lot? Oh no! Come on! <laughs> Come back! Perfect! My last dog! Emergency shoot. <laughs> he got Eddie and my dog, too. They just disappeared. Fangster probably took them back into the future. It's all my fault. If I just stayed with my dog like I was supposed to... Let's get back to Ghost Command. Maybe we can locate them on the Skelevision. A perfect fit! The lost bone of the werewolf will activate the arch! 
Now for the dogs! <laughs> Any dog passing through the arch will become my werewolf slave! <laughs> With my werewolves all over the world, it won't be long before every country surrenders to me! <laughs> Yikes! How am I ever gonna stop them? But I know what I will! Oh! Hey! My scare scooter! Hide in the woods, little fella! I'll be back with help! Hey! How am I gonna transport my werewolf? <laughs> Prime Evil wants to see you now. <laughs> there wouldn't be too much tr trouble. <gasps> Pro Prime Evil? That's right. Get your hide in here, you toothy traitor. <laughs> Nothing on channel 965. Nothing on 966. Keep trying, Tracy. Aw, oh, don't worry, Corky. If anyone can find him, Jake and Tracy can. <laughs> if I'd been responsible and looked after my dog like I was supposed to, this might not have happened. It takes a pretty big person to admit when they've made a mistake. Uh, oh, don't worry. Everything will be okay. Uh, I just know Eddie will come through. Eddie! Sorry, guys. I couldn't find the brakes. <gasps> Eddie, your face! Yeah, I know what you mean. It's great to see a familiar face, huh? <laughs> what happened? Come on, I'll tell you on the way. <laughs> In one match? This has to be a nightmare. Where to? The future. Sometime around 2351. <laughs> Double cross. Turn your werewolf slave over to me. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Release him, rat -a rat <laughs> Now, we will collect these werewolves of yours and unleash them <laughs> upon the nations of Earth. <laughs> This is it! There's the arch! 
And the lost bone of the werewolf. And there's hot quarters. When the dogs went through that arch, they were transformed into werewolves. Good thing nothing happened to me when I went through. He's looking more and more like a werewolf. We've got to find a way to reverse it. Say, Trace, I'm a little hungry. You still keep that raw steak in your pack? <laughs> You said the bone activated the arch. Maybe if we remove the bone, the spell will be reversed. Back off, banana brain. Primeval. The Ghostbusters. Oh, what a putrid surprise. <laughs> I have some friends. I'd like you to meet. Thanks, Doc. We've got to get that phone. Mysteria, use your mist. To keep him away from the bowl. He can't even see the arch. He'll never find the bone. <laughs> it's Corky's dog. Be a good dog. Get the bone. <laughs> the dog won't be able to see either. <laughs> of course he can smell it. What's that for? Good dog. This way, Eddie, Tracy, get those dogs aboard GB. I have no dogs in my upholstery. They can r r ride in here. They're getting away. <laughs> Let's get out of here, fast! They're catching up! Use the time, Turbo GP! These dogs are heavy. It's gonna take a while to build enough speed. There's only one hope. It's a full moon. That means I can call on the wizard. Wizard, do you hear me? <laughs> sure thing, Jake. Now, what will it be this time? Give us lots of speed! You got it. Whoa! 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 What was that? The wizard got it wrong again. I asked for lots of speed, and he gave us lots of feet. But it sure did the trick. Got enough speed yet, GB? I suppose so. But if you got any other plans tonight, take a... Gangster! And it was my dog who saved the day? That's right. If he hadn't grabbed the bone, all those dogs would still be werewolves. Not to mention Eddie. Nothing like a close shave, huh, partner? Boy, you said it. Well, Corky, don't you think it's about time you named your new dog? Let's call him Bones. Great idea. Great idea. Bones it is. From now on, I'm gonna take care of you. Even if it means doing something I don't want. I love you, Bones. <laughs> Speaking of Bones, whatever happened to the lost bone of the werewolf? <laughs> I took care of that. I found the perfect place for it. <laughs> you bring the... <laughs> Corky, look what your dog did to my slipper. Hey, guys, so we choose things. All dogs do. That's the point, Corky, but it depends 
what they chew on. Right. So it's up to every pet owner to be sure his little pal doesn't bother other people's property and become a nuisance. You know, you're right. And I'm going to go buy Bones something to chew. Even if it is raining out. Uh-oh. Who did this? <laughs> your foot in it this time, Eddie. <laughs> hey, Eddie, I think Tracy needs more paint. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Sorry, Anzabone. Oh, fine. Put a cover over my head. Forget about me. So what if I have a message from Jessica? You do? What is it? Jessica said... Don't miss her live report from the Mount Moose Jaw Observatory. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> what can you tell us about this new transmitter, Professor Von Zifflin? Well, this is a radio spectrum voltage pacifier, or as the scientists call it, the RSVP. And it sends some kind of message? Yeah, yeah. It broadcasts a message of greeting to inhabitants of faraway galaxies. Aliens? Exactly. Of course, it will take centuries for the aliens to receive this message. I sure hope they're friendly. This has been Jessica Ray with a live report from Mount Moose Jaw. Gee, I guess we'll never know what those aliens will be like. Great idea, Tracy. Let's call Futura and find out. Boy, what a mess. Futura, we were just about to call you. I know. I thought I'd come early and save you the trouble. What's up? We were wondering if any aliens ever received Professor Von Sifflin's message. They sure did. And they even came to visit the Earth in, uh, uh, at the year 2340. Boy, we'd sure love to be there when they land. Uh, shouldn't you finish your cleaning first? We'll be right with you, Futura! <laughs> You know I'm ticklish. Well, uh, that took no time at all. 
And speaking of time, uh, see you in 2340. Oh, and don't forget those uniforms of yours. You look so cute in them. You heard the lady. Let's go, go! are in the cleaning mood. I could use a little wax behind my ears. We don't have time for that now. Get set for time travel mode. The year 2340? Sure hope there's a gas station all along the way. This place looks deserted. I don't see any aliens. Wait, I hear something. Right, Tracy. It's coming from over there. We're just in time to see the aliens land. What do you think they'll look like? As president of the World Federation, I welcome you, the first alien to visit Earth. We want you to feel at home here. I'm quite sure I will, Mr. President. That's no alien. That's Prime Evil. Yeah, he's pretending to be an alien. Let me at him. Better to wait, Eddie. We can come back tonight when everyone's gone. Check out the ship and find out what Prime Evil's up to. Let's go tell Futura. We have quite a tour planned for you and your ministers. We're... How about showing us your global energy station? The energy station? But... But... We've never allowed any outsiders there. I see. We're new here and you don't really trust us. Oh, but we do trust you. Then we can visit the station. I... Uh, yes. We could make an exception for our special guests. This ship is incredible! Wonder where Primeval got it anyway. That's just what we're going to find out. And maybe we'll find out what Prime Evil's doing in the 24th century. Hey, Jake, look at this. These must be the real aliens. 
prime evil stole our ship. But where are the real aliens now? <laughs> prime evil has really pulled them this time. Yeah. <laughs> Aye, but they've given us a royal welcome, me ratty and friend. The fools in this century think we're a bunch of friendly aliens. Yeah. <laughs> And that's exactly what we want them to think. <laughs> what an unpleasant development. Ghost bunglers! Come on, Eddie. Let's use the micro dematerializers on this clattering can of cobwebs. I know I have it in here somewhere. There! I finally. Whoa! <sighs> Got it. Eddie! Cross <laughs> Though he looked like he needed a snooze, and so do you, Fjotura. Wake up, Frightmare! Wake up! I'll be back, you big babe. As the battle raged on, there were twelve good men. This'll teach you to mind where you trespass. We'll see about that, you flying saucer snatcher. Fire when ready, Long John. That'll take care of you for a while. Say, Tracy, I think Jake could use a hand. <laughs> One good turn deserves another, I always say. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Good idea. Don't forget your cannon. <laughs> nice work, Futura. You too, Tracy. I guess the next thing is to find out what Prime Evil did with the real aliens. And prove to all the people here that Prime Evil is a phony. You sure you can fly this thing, Tracy? <laughs> Just asking. Good flying, Captain Tracy. <laughs> Sir Transaloon, this time you've met your match! Hey, where are we? We're in space, Eddie. You got zapped with the trance lance before we took off. What's that? It's some kind of distress signal, Jake. Tracy's trying to lock in on it. Look at the screen. Those are the real aliens in the photograph. This must be their ship. If anyone can hear us, we have been stranded on this asteroid. Our spacecraft was stolen. Huh. So that's what Primeval did with them. Please help us. We're almost out of oxygen and supplies. Full speed ahead to that asteroid! What is it, Tracy? Oh, no! A meteor storm, and it's heading right towards us. If we don't get off this asteroid before it strikes, we may never get off. Then what are we waiting for? still one more out there. Jake, it's dangerous. Those meteors aren't fooling. Meteors are no meteors. We've got to help them. Jake, we better hurry. The meteor 
gosh, hour is getting worse. <laughs> Good thinking, Tracy. Did ya? Come on, Slugger. We're ready to blast off. I'm glad you're all right. When we get back to Earth, we'll give you the welcome you deserve. Thank you very much. But we have no intention of setting foot on your planet. Why not? Prime Evil tricked us. How do we know you won't? But they saved your lives. Please don't judge all people by the badness of a few of them. I have nothing more to say on this matter. Zorgon, wait! Oh, it's no use, Jake. We still have to worry about Prime Evil. There's no telling what he's up to now. We're especially proud of this energy station. It supplies power to our entire planet. <laughs> The station is protected by this laser-controlled force shield. Very interesting. We don't have anything like this on our planet. <laughs> Good luck, my friends. I'm sorry we won't be able to help after what you did for us. It's not your fault, Maxor. Too bad they didn't want to stay. I kind of like those aliens. Me too, Eddie. Prime Evil really spoiled their visit. And we'd better find out why in a hurry. The electricity to every home and every building in the world is controlled right here. Hey, what are you doing? He's doing whatever I tell him to do, you puny mortals! That's it! Run! Run, all of you! From Prime Evil! <laughs> now I control the energy station, and with it, the whole planet! Turn out the lights! Ow! Traffic stop for miles. We're in flight mode, Tracy. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. But where are we going? The energy station. I have a pretty good idea that's where we'll find Prime Evil. Busters into a clock, your sliminess. Let's see if those uh, ghost buzzards find this attractive. <laughs> uh oh, something's wrong with GB. We're losing power. Nothing wrong with me. Something's tugging me down toward the dome. <laughs> Admit defeat, you bumbling boobs. Go back to your own time where you belong. I'm in control here. <laughs> Absolutely not, Nexor. I refuse to get involved with that evil one who marooned us on the asteroid. But the Ghostbusters need our help, Zorgon. We can't abandon them. It's not our fight, Nexor. We shouldn't interfere. But Zorgo, they interfered. They risked their lives to save us. Is this how we repay them? 
Come on, GB. Keep trying. It's no use. We're stuck here. Hey, do you guys see what I see? The aliens? They came back after all. You guys need a hand? Can you do something about this force shield? Piece of cake, Jake. <laughs> How did they get off that asteroid? That's better! Now, let's go Ghostbusters! Nice shot, Eddie. I think he got a charge out of it. <laughs> The party's over. Yeah! I can't find Prime Evil. Me neither. I've looked all over this place. Well, look again. You may find me where you least expect to. But for now, <laughs> I've got some haunting to attend to. You don't scare us, Prime Awful. We'll be ready for you anytime. Past, present, or future. We couldn't have gotten past the Force Shield without your help, Zorgon. It was Nexor who finally convinced me. I was ready to judge you by the bad deeds of Prime Evil. Uh, Jake, uh, speaking of Prime Evil... <laughs> right, guys. We have to get back to mine things in our own century. Goodbye, Ghostbusters. We won't forget you. Looks great, Tracy. The aliens even autographed it. They helped us through the force shield in the nick of time. We certainly won't forget them. Well, I hope not. And all of you can learn the same lesson they did. Making new friends is not always easy. But like the aliens, you have to keep an open mind and give everybody a chance. Right, Ghostbusters? Right! right. Mission to test Mach 4. 
This is Space Command, permission granted. But even if you guys are robots, don't take chances. You got it, Starwing. Out! Let's just ease this baby. Hey, what's going on? Quick, switch to manual control. It won't budge. Try Delta. It doesn't work either. Something's changing our direction. I'm changing your direction, you fool! Uh, said that, didn't you? <laughs> Doesn't anyone believe in ghosts? Ghosts! Uh, I do now! Let's get out of here! Let's... Oh. Well, Bratterat, I did it! This plane will give me the most powerful weapon I've ever had! <laughs> Your move, Tracy! It's Futura! Well, what are you doing here? I came because of the call from Galaxy Airlines. Galaxy Airlines? They haven't called. They will, just about now. Hi, Ghost Command. Uh, just a minute, it's for you, Jake. The president of Galaxy Airlines is on a video hookup. How did you know Galaxy would call us? See all, know all? <laughs> That's me. Thank heavens I found you. We need help, and fast. Have we met before? No, I'm Gerald Vincent, president of Galaxy Airlines. You were highly recommended. How nice. What's the trouble, Mr. Vincent? We lost contact with the Starwind test flight. It's our new secret super plane. This is a model of it. It'll take passengers on trips to Mars, Venus, and the moon. It's the fastest, most advanced spaceship in the world. It can outrun anything in the air. If it got into the wrong hands, it could be turned into a dangerous weapon. The last word we received from it was ghosts. Then we lost contact. We've alerted the armed forces, but we can't find a trace of the plane. Will you help us? Yes, sir. We're on our way. We've got a tough assignment. Great! When do we leave, huh? I'd like to take you, Belfry, but it's too dangerous. You stay here. Oh, you guys have all the fun. We better start moving. Oh, you got a new haircut, Jake. You look cute. Oh, gee, thanks, Futura. You coming with us? Where you go, I go. Well, work clothes, everyone. Let's go, go, Buster! Guys, I forgot. I parked GB outside. Come on. This is where the ship was when they lost contact. Try a 45 degree west turn, Tracy. We'll take a look there. Okay. There it is. Wow, it's gigantic. <laughs> But this ship's like a flying city. It's got everything. <laughs> it's going to be the greatest thing I've ever stolen. 
Send for the robot guards. If anybody tries to come on board, they'll be very sorry. <laughs> what is it? I just saw the ghost bunkers. Now, oh, old snoopers again. Well, let's give them a special welcome. Turn on the electromagnets. <laughs> <laughs> JB, slow down! I can't! <laughs> Something's pulling me in! Throw the gears in reverse! <laughs> Watch out! Oh no! We're gonna crash! And scratch my paint job? No way! <laughs> I should have had my seatbelt on! You should have stayed home, ghost meddlers! Oh! Primeval! So he's behind this! You're right, Eddie. And when I finish with you, you'll really wish you hadn't dropped by. My foot! Hey! Let me out of here! That's funny. That sounded just like Belfry. It is Belfry, and it's not funny. I thought I told you to stay back at the office. I did, Jake. Uh, for a couple of seconds. Uh... All right, come out of there. I'm pilot GT7. This is my co-pilot GT6. Mm, you don't look like ghosts. Don't worry. We're not ghosts. We're Ghostbusters. My goodness. <laughs> Somebody's coming? Okay, but they'll have to find us first. <laughs> Next time, don't marshal fast. Well, open the door. I gotta be sure the ghost bunkers are in there. <laughs> But mailbags. <laughs> oh, Primeval's not gonna like this. Guards! Guards! Get out of my way, robot. Are they gone? Yes, but not far enough. Bratterat will soon realize he's been tricked. Jake, we've got to get out of here. Wait a minute. This is a test flight. That means no crew. And no crew means no mail. So what was in those mailbags? The Ghostbusters, they tricked me. All clear in this room. Wow! Look! It's a library! We have to be very careful here. That tunnel isn't too strong. Gee, let me look. Uh-oh. Thought you were getting away, huh? <laughs> well, I wasn't full for one minute. That little creep, he's locked us in. The more I see him, the less I like him. Now, how do I slow the ship down or turn it? Maybe it's these buttons. They're all locked up in the library and... Boss, we're gonna hit that planet! I know! I know! Quick! I can't control the plane. Bring the pilot and that troublemaker, Jake. Right. You and you, that one and that one. Come on, and on the double. Great, Scott. We're heading straight toward Mercury. We're going to crash into that planet. Turn the ship. I don't know how, but you do. Pilot, get back to flying this ship. I think maybe it's too late. Hurry, turn this ship around before we crash. Taking you so long? Don't ask me. Ask the hot 
hotshot who messed up these mm, controls. I wouldn't call Prime Evil a hotshot. Maybe a smokehead. <laughs> Try it again, Tracy. Please. Come on, everybody. Let's pull together. One, two, three. <laughs> Tracy, you did it! <laughs> hey, there's Jake! He's with Prime Evil! Turn up the volume! Don't tempt me to zap you to another galaxy! I hope you're better at zapping than you are at flying this ship! <laughs> Run. He won't get far. Where can he go? <laughs> As for you, you are under my spell. You're wasting your time. I'm a robot. You will obey my command, robot. Yes, your badness. That's better. Where are we going? To Haunt Quarters, your new home. Hey, go on. Boss, the others escaped. Send for Fangster. He'll be able to take care of them if you can't. Goodness, you got away. Stay where you are. We saw you escape from Prime Evil. Oh, you were terrific. So brave, so fearless, and so cute. D, thanks, you girl. I, I mean, G, thanks for your tour. Greg, you. Yeah. Over here, we have a new passenger. It is a human. Oh! Fangster! I found them! They're in the video room! <laughs> Bring those ghost bummers to me! I have a score to settle! Oh! They know where we are! We better split up. Where's Tracy? He's trying to fix the dematerializer. What a time for it to break down! Come on! Come on, Tracy, fix that later. Fangster's here and he knows where we are. He's real close, Tracy. I can tell by my nose. <laughs> Hi. Uh, we were uh, just talking about you guys. Well, so much for conversation. Run, Tracy! Again, fuzzball. Not again. It doesn't work. Watch out, Tracy. Oh, you can 
don't scare me. That's not working. <laughs> nice going, Tracy. Fangster won't be bothering us for a while. Uh oh. Well, what do you know? They shorted out. I guess water and electricity really don't mix. boy, Trace. Give those sturdy robots a bath. You look like you're cooking up a plan. That's it. Cooking. Uh, I don't get it. We know how to take care of the robots now, and I think I know how to get rid of Prime Evil. How are you going to do that? Eddie, Belfry, just in time. Remember how mad Prime Evil was when he couldn't fly this ship? Mad? His face was so red, you could have fried an egg on his head. That's what I mean. He was cooking mad. Now all we have to do is get him madder. How come? Maybe, just maybe, he'll get so mad he'll cook all his energy away. That's the weirdest plan I've ever heard. <laughs> but it just might work. Okay, let's water down the robots, and then we'll try to fire up Prime Evil. <laughs> Time to clean up your act, guys. Hi there, Bubblehead. Bet you can't catch me. Ready, set, go! Thanks for taking too long. Send more guards after them. Don't bother, Prime Feeble. You won't find Fangster, and you won't find any more guards. Oh, no? I can't be fooled that easily! Guards! Guards! Sorry, Primeval, but come see for yourself. They're all washed up. <laughs> all right, now you've gone too far! He's on his way, Tracy. <laughs> if Primeval has any weaknesses, it's losing his temper. Here he comes. I've had enough of you and your tricks. I feel the same way about you, too. Now, stop bothering me. I'm reading. How dare you read in my presence? You're real tough with those lightning bolts, but I bet you couldn't face me without them. For you, I'll use my bare hands. Oh, before I forget, take a look at my latest painting. It's an original. I call it Prime Fool. <laughs> See? You can't win a fight without zapping. In fact, you can't do anything without zapping. Oh, no? Now I'm angry. Really angry. I'll show you. Hey, boss! <laughs> Running out of steam? <laughs> Who asked you? You may have won this one, but we'll meet again. Anytime, Evil. The Ghostbusters are ready for you. And so on behalf of our space program, I am pleased to award you these medals for your heroic deeds. And I am especially pleased to... Uh, where's Belfry? Sir! Here I am, sir! Oh. And to Belfry, who proved big deeds and big hearts sometimes come in small packages. Uh, hi, boys and girls. In today's story, the Ghostbusters were captured and outnumbered. And Prime Evil thought he had successfully hijacked the spaceship. But Prime Evil didn't count on the Ghostbusters using their imagination to escape and finding a way to defeat him. So remember, even when things look bad, you have the ability to make things better.
What you reading, Eddie? A good book, Jake, called Don Quixote. That's pronounced Coyote. I read that in school. All about some crazy Spanish knight, right? Sorta, of, I guess. But I, but I think the point of the book is that Don Quix, I mean, uh, Coyote, always tried to do good deeds, even for people who didn't appreciate them. Well, if you say so, chum, but I wouldn't take that book too seriously. It's pretty old. Heck, I doubt if anyone else in the whole world is actually reading it. Lies out, Alberto. Oh, but Papa, I'm just to the most exciting part. Don Quixote is going to... I'm sorry, Alberto. You have school tomorrow, and you need your rest. Lights out. You can read Don Quixote tomorrow. Oh, all right, Papa. Good night. Good night, Humberto. And then as Don Quixote de la Mancha rode forth to do battle, his squire, Sancho Panza, was preparing to... Is Humberto reading with the flashlight again? Oh, he needs to sleep. Yes, but I hate to discourage him. Reading is so important. Especially since we have no money to send our son to a good university. I will give him a few more minutes before... I. Eh? Ramon, what can that be? Motorcycles. And they're headed this way. <gasps> oh, Ramon! I do not like the looks of this. Go to Umberto Emilita. I'll hold. Ay, ay, ay. You mongrels! How dare you attack us? Get out, Zivstan! Hey, man, take it easy. We just came to party! Yeah! No! Stop this instant! <laughs> Release me, you fiends! Good catch, Yella! Now hold him there while we have some fun! <gasps> Mama! Look! My book! It's glowing! Thank <laughs> you. 
This was just a warning, farmer. Move out, or we'll be back. You monstrous! <laughs> Ghost! Varlets! Unhand that simple peasant! <laughs> After the varlet, Sancho! No me deas mas! And then the motorcycle hoodlums ran away, with the ghost after them. I cannot go to the police. They would think that I was crazy. So I have come to you, Enrique, for advice. You are my friend. You are both wealthy and wise. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> a ghost, huh? Sounds bad. Yes, a ghost. But I'm not sure he was bad. He actually helped scare off the hoodlums, I think. Bah, a ghost is a ghost. And I know just who to call. Miss Garcia, get me the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Ghostbusters have gone out of business. We have not. Well, you might as well. Ghostbusters, Jake Kong speaking. The ghost of Don Quixote? Hey, we were just talking about him. We'll be right there. Got a job, guys. In the uniform. Let's go, Ghostbusters! your heads, my job would be a lot easier. What ghost do we have to bust in Spain, Jake? An odd one, Eddie. According to the report, it's the ghost of Don Quixote. You're kidding. But Don... Coyote wasn't bad. Hey, all I know is what I was told, Eddie. We'll find out more when we get there. Hey, your problems will soon be over. The Ghostbusters are on their way. I, uh... Gracias, Enrique. But how about the motorcyclists? I worry about them more than the ghost. One thing at a time, Ramon. One thing at a time. But trust me. Adios. <laughs> 
The Ghostbusters will take care of that ghost. And then you three can go back to work on Ramon de la Torres. That stupid farmer doesn't know it. But his farm is right on top of the richest copper mine in all of Spain. A what mine? Copper, you idiot. Copper. Copper? A policeman? Where? Ay, ay, ay. We stupido. No, you fools. Copper is a valuable metal. It is used for making money. And I love to make money. That's why I'm paying you three hoodlums to terrorize Ramon de la Torres. His land is right on top of a rich copper mine. I want him scared off the land so I can buy it cheap. And I will not tolerate any more failure. So sorry, Sandoval, but what were we supposed to do about a ghost? The ghost will be taken care of. You must make sure you do your job. I want Ramon de la Torre scared of his farm. Tonight! <laughs> I'm so worried. Ghosts and hoodlums. I wish we could call the police. No, Emilita. Arike said that we must not call the police. We must trust him. Huh? Hoofbeats. Caramba! That ghost is still out there. Ghost is still there, Senor Sandoval. Yeah, and he's already chased us off once. We can't go back in until he's taken care of. He'll be taken care of. The Ghostbusters should be here soon. And as soon as they bust that ghost, you three can go bust up the Delatoris farm some more. The sooner you run that farmer and his family off the land, the sooner I can buy it. And the sooner I get that land, <laughs> the sooner it will make me rich. <laughs> Listen, do you hear that? That, I believe, my dear villainous vipers, is the Ghostbuster. Oh, Ramon, what can it be? Uh, I'm not sure, Amelita. It sounds like jets. But why would a jet be flying way out here? I do not know. The crew must either be lost or complete fools. Oh, boy! The Ghostbusters! No, Umberto! Stay here! Ay, caramba! This is great! The Ghostbusters are coming! Dust! It figures! And I just had a wax job, too! Familia de la Torres? I'm Jake Kong of the Ghostbusters. We understand that you've been having a little trouble with the ghost of Don Quixote. Si. No! Don Quixote was a good man. His ghost would never hurt anyone. He's right, you know. Hush, Humberto. As Senor Sandoval said, a ghost is a ghost. Right. So now, if you'll just show us this ghost, we'll bust him and be on our way. There. there. What? <laughs> Identify thyself, slaves. Are ye men of peace? Whoa, we're men of peace. He's an ape of peace. Don't waste your time talking to a ghost, Eddie. It's ghost busting time. See, you're not kidding. You what? The dematerializer. It's ruined. You know, just like we're going to be yeah, if we don't get out of here. Gang Cowardly violets, stand and fight. Yeah! The ghost is changed. 
Operation Nam! No matter. At least the ghost is after them. I'm not guarding the house. So get down there, you vermin! I Juan de la Torre scared off that farm now! Mamacita! Engines! The motorcyclists are returning! Oh, Ramon, please, no matter what Senor Sandoval said, call the police, police! I think you are right, Emilita. The telephone is dead. Greetings, Farmer. We're back. Uh, I think Don Quixote's trying to make a point here, Jake. Yeah. Well, try to reason with him, Eddie. After all, you were reading the book. Yeah, that's right. And from what I remember, Don Quixote was no... Bully. I am Don Quixote de la Mancha, defender of the weak, champion of the helpless. If that's so, then why did you attack us? I attack you? You attacked me! He's right, you know. Yeah, but we had a report that you'd been attacking the de la Torreses. Attacking them? Caramba! I was defending them from those machine-riding monsters. Oh! Always are my good deeds misunderstood. He's probably telling the truth, Jake. That was always happening to Don Quixote in the book. You might be right, Eddie. I... <laughs> Master, the criminales, they have returned. Those caracoles! They shall face the wrath of Don Quixote de la Mancha. <laughs> What's going on? I think there's trouble at the de la Torres' farm. Let's go! Or do you need some more convincing? Oh, not my clock. It was a present from my grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> that was some mistake, farmer. I'm gonna... <sighs> Carla Goles! Dogs! To attack a defenseless family. Would you dare have the courage to attack... Don Quixote de la Mancha! It's the ghost! I'm getting out of here! Jake! Uh, those motorcyclists! Those must be the bad guys Don Quixote mentioned! Right you are, Eddie. And they're getting away. Get that ghost gummer ready, Eddie. It's time to go into action. Hit it! prison is going to be a little fuller tonight, eh, Don Quixote? Such is the fate of evil, Jake. <laughs> This'll teach us to trust that rat, Enrique Sandoval. Enrique? But he is my friend. How could he possibly have anything to do with this? Your good friend found out that your farm was right over a rich copper mine. He was trying to scare you off the property so he could get it for himself. Is this true? Carambulas! Of course it's true, you peasant! I was going to make a fortune. Aha! But now, of course, the fortune will be yours, Senor de la Torres. <gasps> Ramon! Did you hear that? Do you realize what this means? Yes, Emilita. It means... 
We will be able to send Umberto to the university after all. Looks like a real happy ending, Don Quixote. That is the best kind, Senor Spencer. Don Quixote, I'd like to apologize for the way I acted when we first met. I was wrong to decide you were bad without giving you a chance. Worry not, Mr. Gong. If you have read my books, you will know that such errors were common in my adventures. Don Quixote? I... I will be honored if you would autograph my copy of Don Quixote. I'd like to remember you always. You will, my son. Every time you read my adventures, for that is the adventure of reading. That you can always visit me again. And thus, the story is never over. Yep, I couldn't have said it better myself. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi there. In today's story, we met a little boy who liked to read books. And he got to meet the ghost of his favorite hero, Don Quixote, and have an adventure with the Ghostbusters. Now, you may not meet your favorite ghost when you pick up a book, but you can always be sure of having a great adventure, because that's what reading is, a great and wonderful adventure inside your imagination. Bye now, and happy reading! Ugly buglies, but I'll get them. Nice work, Yeti. That's the last of those monster ghost termites. Strike a pose, hero. I need a picture for my news report. No problem, Jessica. Always glad to be of help. Huh? Uh-oh. That's the emergency signal for the Phantom Prison Planet. The Phantom Prison Planet? What's that? Well, it's a prison where we put many of our bad ghosts, Eddie. And according to this report, there's a strange ghost ship about to attack it. Well, you know what that means, guys. Let's go, Ghostbusters!
<laughs> there it is! The Phantom Prison Planet! That's where we'll find the ghost of Moby Dick, the White Whale! Moby Dick? How do they keep that mighty monster from escaping? That ghost-proof energy field does it, Swab. It surrounds the planet and keeps the ghosts imprisoned. But it won't stop me. <laughs> Look out! Have you spotted the white whale yet? Hey, Harpoon! Dead ahead, down below on the planet. <laughs> the white whale at last! When I have him under my control, I'll be the greatest ghost pirate in the galaxy! Oh, she blows! Ah, Moby, my friend. That was a wonderful ride. <laughs> By the Phantom Foghorns, Moby, you're me best friend, but you're still a rascal. I don't understand, Captain Harpoon. Who is that ghost riding on Moby Dick? That's Captain Ahab, Swab. He and Moby used to be enemies, but after 600 years, they become good friends. And that's the key to my plan. If I kept your old Ahab, then Moby will be forced to obey my command. Can you and the lads capture Ahab? We can handle him. If you can get us through that ghost field. This is a bit of evil magic I've been saving a long time. Watch this. <laughs> Incredible, Captain Harpoon! Aye, but that energy tattoo can be used only once! So let's get to work! My Harpoon Ray will control the beast long enough to open a hole in the force field, Swamp! Now, you scurvy dogs, let's get moving. That energy serpent won't last long. By the seven seas, Moby, that was fun. You know me, friend. It's 600 years we're together, and I hope nothing ever splits us up. Oh. <laughs> Excellent work, Swab. Now, hide Ahab somewhere and guard him well. Meantime, I'll be using Moby Dick here to plunder every space liner in the galaxy. <laughs> That's the Phantom Prison Planet just ahead. And look, that ghost ship is stealing the ghost of Moby Dick. That's dumb. If they w w w wanted a big fat whale, why didn't they just grab Tracy? <laughs> Should we go after him, Futura? We better find out what they're up to first. Land on the prison planet, Tracy. Okay. There's the Ghostbusters are headed for the prison planet, Captain Harpoon. Car, let them. Swab and his lads can handle them. In the meantime, we've got plundering to do. Come in our boon! Luxury space liner off the port quadrant! Yar! There she blows, men! A fat space liner! Loaded to the gunnels with riches! Now let's put this tub of blubber to work! Precious Captain Ahab prisoner. If you ever want to see him again, you'll do as I say. So move! Really? Do 
dear Lord Neville. Oh, absolutely, my dear Anthrax. This trip has been just too frightfully dull. I mean to say... Nothing exciting ever happened. <laughs> Success! With the giant Moby Dick under my control, I'll be able to loot every ship in the galaxy! <laughs> Stole Moby Dick? <laughs> That's right. They, they grabbed Captain Ahab, too. They're keeping him prisoner in a mountain somewhere while Harpoon uses Moby to capture space liners. Oh. I got one! I got one! We gotta stop Harpoon! Right, Jake. But we also have to find Ahab. Without him, we'll never be able to break Harpoon's control over Moby Dick. I've got a plan. Let's split up. You boys go after Harpoon. Futura and I will stay here to hunt for Ahab. Are you sure that's a good idea? This planet is full of bad ghosts. We have no choice, Jake. Besides, we can take care of ourselves. Right, Hopper? Let's go, Ghostbusters! Sheesh! If there's anything I can't stand, it's enthusiasm. Hip squeak! Knock it off, you two. We've got work to do. Come on, guys. Good luck, ladies. Be careful. You too, Jake. Let's go, Hopper. That young Hopper makes me tired. Well, you can't rest now, GB. We've got a whale of a job to do. Oh, it's an awfully big planet, Jessica. Do you think we can find where Harpoon's men took Ahab in time? We have to, Futura. The Ghostbusters are counting on us. These ghosts may be able to give us some information. I don't know, Jessica. They look like they'll give us more trouble than information. That's a risk we're gonna have to take. Besides, on this planet, I doubt if anyone's gonna be friendly. Uh, excuse me. Scram, little lady. This pass is off limits. Uh, of course. We'll be on our way in a moment. I just wanted to ask if you'd seen Captain Ahab. Oh! So, you're looking for Ahab, eh? Swab warned us to watch for Snopes. That's why he hired us to stand guard. What are we waiting for, Futura? Let's dematerialize him! Easy, Hopper. I think this is part of Jessica's plan. That's right. We're looking for Ahab. He's been ghost snapped, and we're gonna rescue him. You may be planning to rescue Ahab, little lady, but now, who's gonna be rescuing you? <laughs> Are you sure this is the right way, Jake? My ghost-sniffing nose is infallible, Eddie. Harpoon is right around here somewhere. It's Harpoon, all right. <laughs> Is that Moby Dick? Well, how many other giant white whales do you expect to find in outer space? Looks like Harpoon is looting that space liner, boys. And you know what that means. Let's go, go, Ships. Next time these boys go on a job, remind me to develop engine trouble. Never, you rotten pirate! I say, fearful bounders, these pirates, what anthrax? Absolutely, old chap. <laughs> Dash it, rule. Somebody ought to do something about them. Absolutely. Not us, of course. Of course not, old boy. Wouldn't want to get involved. 
Besides, we're saved! Here come the Ghostbusters! Let's bust them, boys! Lizzie, it's those blasted ghost lovers. Get them, me hearties! Split up, guys! Now! Take the leader, get him! Work, Eddie. Now for a ghost busting ball. Steer right, out of boy, Jake. I just hope Futur and Jessica's plan is working. This is all part of your plan, Jessica, because if it isn't, we're in big trouble. Silence! No talking among the prisoners. You scurvy dog. First you steal Moby Dick, me only friend, and now you kidnap two innocent lasses. I said quiet, sea dog. And why do you care about these women anyway? You were a black-hearted enough rascal in your whaling days. Six hundred years can change a man, Swab. I've had me fill of evil ghosts, like you and your Captain Harpoon. Sorry you don't like me company, Ahab, but you'll have to put up with it for a while longer. As for you lads, good job. Harpoon will reward you richly. But for now, return to your guard. There might be other snoops. Right, let's ride. Oh, good. They're leaving. Now's our chance. Our chance to do what? I can't use my magic with my hands tied. You won't have to. Silence! I said no talking. Uh, uh, I have only one more thing to say, Swab. Aye, and that is... Hunter! Right here! Uh -huh. Dematerialize this creep! My pleasure! <laughs> that takes care of one ghost! Now, for this one! <laughs> no, Hopper! Leave him alone! He's not evil! Besides, we need him! Are you sure, Jessica? In my opinion, the only good ghost is a dematerialized ghost! You need to learn about forgiveness, Hopper! <laughs> but for now, come here and get these ropes off! Oh, all right! How's that? Oh, great! Now I can use my powers again. Blow me down. Thank you, ladies. I'm right grateful. Captain Mayhem, at your service. We came here for a reason, Captain. We need your help. Harpoon is forcing Moby Dick to capture space liners. So that's why the scurvy dog stole me whale. Well, I'll soon put a stop to that pirate. We were hoping you'd feel that way. Come with us and we'll go after him. Convert to flight mode, Hopper. No! What? No evil ghost is gonna be a pastor of mine! Hopper, shame on you. It's all right. You're right, mate. I was truly evil once. It was a long time ago, and I've learned better since. Nowadays, all I care about is my only friend, the white whale, Moby Dick. So I'm not asking you to like me, lad. Just help me rescue my friend. Please. Well, oh, all right. Pop up board. <laughs> Pirates up there, Jake. Huh, he's out of range. You scurvy Ghostbusters, you'll not get me. <laughs> oh, drat. Thanks, Tracy. That's the last of them. Not quite, ghost lovers. You may have beaten my crew, but you have yet to deal with Captain Harpoon. 
and I've a pair of surprises for you. Jake, his tattoos! They're turning into monsters! They sure are, Eddie, but this should take care of them. Jake, it didn't work! <laughs> That's right, gold slummers. My beasties are pure energy. Yeah, they're not ghosts. Your precious dematerializer doesn't bother them. But they will bother you. Get of me, beasties. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the end of the Ghostbusters, too! Yeah. This is it, ghost lovers! Nothing can save you now! Wrong, Harpoon! What? <laughs> Ahab, you're free! I am, and so is me good friend, Moby Dick! <laughs> Yeah! Moby destroyed the monsters! It's all over! Not quite. That blasted white whale! He destroyed my monsters! Well, I'll just... Not so fast, Buster! Huh? You're busted! And I just got a call from the prison planet, Ahab. Because of your help in defeating Harpoon, it's been decided that you don't have to return to the prison planet. You and Moby are free! <laughs> that's... that's wonderful. Moby and I... We can't thank you enough. Congratulations, Ahab. What are you going to do now? Well, travel, lad. Wander the spaceways and see the universe. Just me and me only friend, Moby Dick. Uh, 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 excuse me, Captain Ahab. Not your only friend. I wanted to say... I'm sorry for the way I acted towards you, Captain. And I hope you forgive me and consider me a... a friend. Why, certainly, mate. I'd be proud to. I say, Andrax, looks like a jolly old heavy ending, what? Absolutely, my dear chap. Absolutely. Oh, in today's story, the Time Hopper had to learn an important lesson about forgiveness. Captain Ahab had been bad a long time ago, but he wasn't bad anymore. However, because Hopper had not learned forgiveness, a new friend was almost lost. So if somebody made you mad a long time ago, why not give them another chance? You may end up with a new friend.
They're not making ghosts like they used to. Who else wants to try out for my Haunt Quarters crew? This is the last one, boss. Yeah, he calls himself Squint. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, but the name's not Squint, it's Squid. <laughs> Mr. Squid, and I will be valuable to you, Mr. Evil. And what value could you possibly be to me? I can capture the Ghost Busters. Even I can't capture them. Throw him out! But your madness... Never mind. I'll throw this wimp out myself. <laughs> you call yourself valuable? Ha! I'll show you how valuable. But, but, but your madness... You, you, you didn't give me a chance! He didn't believe I'm valuable, but I am. I know I am. I'll show you how valuable I can be, Prime Evil. I'll capture the Ghostbusters, and after that, you'll beg me to join your gang. All right, this is the last one. Look! Wow, looks just like old Prime Evil. Real mean. Ugh. Yeah. That's the best one yet, eh, Tracy? <laughs> Tracy! <laughs> Come down from there, Tracy. Come on, it's only a shadow. <laughs> and you thought it was the real thing. <laughs> Was that Tracy, or was it just an earthquake? Who could that be? Nobody there. <coughs> Nobody here. Down here! I'm looking for my cousin. Belfry? My cousin? Here? Oh, my God! Oh, howdy, cuz! How you been? You said I could come visit you, and, well, here I am. Come on in. Hey, fellas, this is my cousin Beauregard. He lives on a farm. Uh, Hi. Hi. Howdy, Mr. Ghostbusters. Oh, golly. Wait till the boys back home here about this. We see you fellas on the news all the time. There's Prime Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Just a shadow, Beauregard. Well, oh, I'll be hog tied. You sure fooled me. I thought it was the real prime evil. Aw, oh, he's not so tough. I've seen him hundreds of times. Really? Oh, golly. Pull up a chair, Beauregard. Mind if I not take off these heavy shoes? Uh, 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 please, Beauregard. Oh, not here. Uh, uh, why don't I show you around, cousin? Brace yourself, guys. I feel a call coming in. Uh, your recent dose command, but it's late. I'm tired, and unless this is real urgent, buzz off. This is Jake. May I help you? Uh, yes, this is Mr. Billingsley in the mansion up the hill. I'm giving a surprise party for my wife. I'd like the Ghostbusters to come as my guests of honor. Can you? Wow. I mean, yes, we'll be there. Now, don't forget, it's a surprise party. <laughs> and are they in for a surprise? <laughs> 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 
We're going to a swanky surprise party, guys, and we're the guests of honor. Oh, boy, wait old Belfry hears about this. Hey! Back at Buildings, I have Impossum Gulch. Ooh, and pretty, too. Uh, city folks never notice those things, Beauregard. What, land six? You mean city folks build pretty things and never look at them? Uh, well, I mean, uh, yes, uh, I mean, no, I mean, uh, I mean, uh... Belfry! Gotta run now. I'll explain later. Oh. Golly! They sure move fast in the city. Hey! Wait for me! I think your hat's too fancy. No, too flashy. Perfect. Uh, what's going on? We were invited to a swanky surprise party in our honor. Oh, a party? Wow! Oh, boy! We're going to a city hotel. Oops, forgot my shoes. As soon as Beauregard gets his shoes, we'll go. Uh, on second thought, you, you, you guys go on. I, I mean, we won't be going. What? It's not like you to turn down a party. You feel all right? Uh, I'm okay, but Beauregard's not really the party type. Well, if you really don't want to go... Hey, guys, what do you say we go in uniform? Why not? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Go! Let's go! in the middle of a good dream? Sorry, GB, but we're stepping out tonight to a party. Well, where's Belfry? He doesn't want to come. What? Belfry turning down a party? Well, in that case, I'll take his ice cream. I found my shoes. Now I'm ready to do Where'd everybody go? Uh, they left. Oh, without us? Uh, Beauregard, you wouldn't like the party anyway. Now I get the picture. I, I don't fit in with your friends. Well, I... Oh. Oh, you're ashamed of me. <sighs> well, cousin, I know I ain't got the smooth ways of you city folk, but I am what I am. And that's all I can be. I'll go back to the farm now. I hope I didn't embarrass you too much, cousin. Uh, Beauregard, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Hello? Why? Hi, Madam Why? I just saw the Ghostbusters in my crystal bowl. You must stop them, Belfry. The party they are going to is a trap. They are in great danger. Whoa! All right, and thanks. I'll do what I can. We've got to do something, Beauregard. The guys are in danger. The party's a trap. Oh. Boy, oh boy, I bet this party's really something. Have you ever been in a mansion? No! Me neither. Inside, this deserted mansion is perfect for my trap, but it doesn't look perfect outside. I can fix that. Magic of the ocean, magic of the sea. Fiddle-dee-dum-dum, fiddle-dee-dee. That should do it. 
Ah, uh, just in time. I think I hear them. Wow, this mansion is classy. No cars. We must be the first ones to get here. You sure you got the right address, Jake? This place is creepy. It sure is. <laughs> Something tells me I'm not gonna like this party. That came from upstairs. Let's get out of here. Let's look upstairs and be ready for anything. I'm ready. Okie dokie. you bring the dematerializer, Tracy? Did you, Tracy? Tracy? Eddie? So happy you accepted my invitation. Who are you? What have you done with my friends? I'm Mr. Squid, the clever, evil Mr. Squid. And as for your friends, you'll be joining them soon enough. <laughs> Enter the cellar with you, Ghostbuster. Tracy! Thanks, pal. I needed that. You guys okay? I'm fine. Okie dokie. A fine mess I got us into. This is some party. Uh, no, uh, no message. Thank you. Oh, this is terrible. I can't reach Futura, and Jessica's out covering a story. Oh, well, don't feel bad, cuz. I'll help you. <gasps> you mean you really want to help after the rotten way I treated you? That's what cousins are for. But uh, they're not your friends, Beauregard. Uh, why would you want to help them, huh? Cuz, they're your friends. But, uh, but, well, time's a wasting, cuz. Let's scoot on over and save your friends and give those vomits a taste of bat power. <laughs> yeah, let's scoot over. But I don't know where they went. Solid. Uh -huh. Solid. Solid. Over here. Sounds like a hole. If we could only loosen one of these stones. Give me a hand. Hey, it's a tunnel. Nice work, Tracy. <laughs> Nothing like a delicate touch. Only one problem. What's that? This big hole in the wall will tell Mr. Squid how we got out. <laughs> that makes it worse. <laughs> All right. Now let's see where the tunnel goes. Hey! What about that thing you showed me in the obstatory? Obstatory? Oh, you mean the observatory! That's... Uh, yeah! Skeloscope! That's it! Maybe Skeloscope can find him! Let's see! Uh, this one is on, and uh, the, this one... Uh, are you authorized to do this? Who said that? I did. You're obviously new around here. Come on, Skeloscope. This is important. Important? Going to the moon is important. You'll just have to stargaze some other time. This is my day off. Well, of course. And I'm sure you deserve a day off. And we're sorry to bother you, Mr. Skeloscope. But Belfry here tells me you're just about the smartest critter in the world. In the universe. Oh, you really think so, Belfry? 
one well wise. Ah, of course he does. Well, look. In a nutshell, the Ghostbusters are in a pickle. We don't know where they're that moves to, and we got to find them. Well, why didn't you say so? Flip on my micro scan, though, for your third switch to the left. Ah, now turn the locator switch to zero. Aha! There's the ghost buggy. And the Ghostbusters must be in that mansion. Take a look here. Huh? You found it! Of course I did! Golly! Oh, thanks a heap, Mr. Skeletoscope. It was a pleasure meeting you! <laughs> Goodbye, little fella! I like your friend, Balfrey. He recognizes class! I'm sure Primeval will talk to me. You tell him I have very important news to give him. Sure you do, Mr. Squirt. Next you're gonna tell me you've captured the Ghostbusters. Yes, I have. How do you know that? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh, Squirt. <laughs> hung up on me, that little... How do we get in? Well, why don't we knock? Huh? Who could that be? Hmm, maybe this place is haunted. Think we can squeeze in there? If and that dude finds us, we'll be in a tight of squeeze, cuz. Oh, too many corn fritters. Oh, we're in the cellar. We're in a jam. We're trapped. Uh -oh. Quick, cuz, in here. There's only one way to prove to Primeval I've captured. <laughs> Disappear! Find anything, Tracy? <laughs> Shh! I think I hear something coming this way. Get out the dematerializer, Tracy. Okay, okay. Jake, Eddie, it's us! Oh, never mind. It's only Belfry. Belfry? I'm Beauregard. How'd you get in here? The question, Mr. Eddie, is how in heck did we all get out of here? We came to tell you this is a trap, but, uh, I guess you know that already. <laughs> hey, Beauregard found it! They've got to be here somewhere. I must find them. I must capture them to show Prime Evil how smart I am. <laughs> There they go, downstairs. Aha, uh -huh. there's someone in that room. Got a flashlight, Mr. Eddie? Squid, how dare you disturb me? Get out! Oh, oh, sorry, excellent one. Sorry to disturb you. But wait a minute. Why would Prime Evil be here? They tricked me. Well, I'll show them. So you thought you had me fooled? Ah, you missed. That's what you think, Squid. Keep your eye on the ball. Hit it, Tracy. <laughs> Don't zap him yet, Eddie. What did you expect to get out of capturing us? I wanted to prove to Prime Evil I was worthy of joining him. I tried really hard. It was very important to me. It's more important to be yourself, Mr. Squid. You shouldn't try to change yourself just to fit into a group. Yeah, especially Prime Evil's group. I guess you're right. But before you zap me, I have two questions. What are they? First, what magic did you use to copy Prime Evil? With Eddie's hands and my cousin Beauregard's voice. Show him how, cuz. 
This is how I did it. What's the second question? Are you gonna dematerialize me? You did some pretty rotten things. And when you do wrong, you have to answer for it. Next time we meet, I hope you're on the right track. I understand. Eddie? And when I come back, I'd, I'd like to join the Ghostbusters. Okay, everybody, we've got one more mission to accomplish. Oh, no. Well, what is it, Mr. Jake? We have to call up all our friends and show Beauregard what a real city hoedown is like. Oh, then what are we waiting for? Let's go, go, go Oh, hi, everybody. Belfry's going to tell you about today's story. When I saw how funny Beauregard was dressed and how funny he talked, I was too ashamed of him to take him to the party. Grown-ups call that prejudice. I call it stupid. So please remember what I forgot. People should be judged by the way they act, not by the way they look. Uh, well, in other words, kids, don't judge a book by its cover. You hear? Idea. Come on, relax, Corky. It's just a gag. I'm just changing a number in the phone company's computer. Well, all done. <laughs> now, whenever somebody tries to dial the Ghostbusters, they'll get a pizza parlor instead. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of funny, Gene. But still, it might be dangerous. Oh, don't be such a doofus, Corky. Here, watch the master hacker in action again. I'll find us a new computer system to break into. But it's illegal to do that, Gene. Won't we get in trouble? No, nobody's gonna catch us. Even my parents are gonna be gone all night. It's perfectly safe. Come on, trust me, Corky. Cousin Tara, you old horror, you're looking as loathsome as ever. Thank you, Prime Evil. The years have not made you any prettier yourself. So this is your new place. Looks hideous. Yes, I'm rather proud of it. Let me show you around. I'm glad you were able to come by, Terra. I have a little job for you. <laughs> but I'll explain that later. <laughs> Right now, let me just show you my new computer system. What... what is it, Gene? I... I don't know. 
I've broken into a computer system, all right, but I've never seen anything like it before. Maybe you'd better leave it alone. Get out of there before... Hey! Listen, you're talking to the master hacker here, remember? No system's gonna scare me off. We're going in. Here it is, Terra. My prime computer. The first step in my latest attempt to conquer the Earth. What's your plan? Simple. All the nuclear missiles of the world are controlled by computers. Using my prime computer, I will gain control of these missile systems while you keep the humans from interfering. And when I control the missiles, the Earth will be forced to bow to me. <laughs> Scared stiff? Haven't you broken into a missile control computer system yet? Not yet, your scariness. Yes, it's not easy. <laughs> ah, you're just incompetent. I'll permit me, cousin. Why, of course, Terra. Anything for a guest? No, please. I'll try to do better. You have displeased your master, Scared Stiff. Now look into the face of terror. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to be so untidy. Yeah, he'll be all right. That worthless robot always falls apart like that. I'm more concerned about finding a better operator for my computer. What? What on earth is that? What on earth is that? It's a little animation program I wrote a while back. Thought I'd play it for whosever system this is. <laughs> you know, give who's ever watching it a laugh. This is not funny. Someone is mocking me. Someone has broken into my prime computer. Someone is going to... Wait. Yes, this could be my lucky break. I need someone who can break into computers, and here is someone breaking into mine. Terra, can you capture this person for me? Can I? <laughs> Just watch and see. You're not getting any response, Jean. Let's turn it off before... Wait! Something's coming through now. What? What is it? I... I don't know, but I don't like it. I'm gonna turn it off before... Yeah! Foolish human. You intruded where you should not have. Now you must pay the price. No! 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 Look, human! Look into the face of terror. Oh, wow! No! The Ghostbusters! Oh! Ah. Come out! Human! Oh, oh no! Please, hurry! Antonio's pizza! Me da liver! I have need of your friend, human. But I have no need of you. But I want no interference. You must never tell anyone what happened here tonight. Because if you do, I'll be back. And you'll look again into the face of terror. This is the life, eh, fellas? Ah. You said it, Eddie. On a night like this, I don't think anything could upset me. 
See who that is, will you, Belfry? <laughs> right, Jake? <laughs> Jake, it's Gorky. Gorky? Well, tell him to come in, Belfry. He can have a hot dog. Uh, you'd better come here, Jake. I think something's happened to Gorky. Uh oh. Oh no, Gorky! Gorky, are you all right? What happened? It, it was horrible. What was horrible, Corky? Tell us. I, 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 I can't, I can't tell you. He said never to tell, so I can't, I can't. Don't you see, guys? I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so scared of what would happen. Why don't you come inside for a while, Corky? I think we better have a little. No, I can't tell you. I can't. <laughs> Look, Corky, until we know what happened, we can't help you. And the only way we can find out what happened is for you to tell us. No! I can't tell you. He said never to tell anyone. He said if I told anyone, he'd... He'd... He'd, he'd what, Corky? He'd, he'd... Come back! Please listen. We're your friends. We won't let anyone hurt you. But you have to help us. You have to tell us what happened. I can't. He said never to tell. Listen, son. The more someone threatens you to make you keep a secret, the more important it is that you tell someone about it as soon as possible. Someone you trust. <laughs> you trust us, don't you? Yeah. That's why I came here. Then please tell us what happened, Corky. Believe me, we won't let anything bad happen to you. We're your friends. We care about you. All right. I'll tell you. My friend Gene and I were messing with his computer. <laughs> oh, this is excellent, Terra. Excellent. This young computer operator you brought me is precisely what I required. He has already discovered a computer system that controls some nuclear missiles. He's doing much better than someone else I could mention was. Sorry, Prime Evil. I... Oh. Falls apart easily, doesn't he? Yes. I think he's got a screw loose somewhere. Ah! The human has broken the computer security codes. As soon as he gains control of the computer, you take over. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh, Lieutenant, we've got something odd here. What is it, Corporal? I'm getting an odd interference pattern on the main missile control system, sir. Take a look. What do you make of it, sir? Hmm. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. I'll switch to override. Uh -huh. You'll do nothing, human. Save look into the face of terror. <laughs> so you say that this night of terror took your friend Gene back to haunt quarters with him? Yes. Oh, it was horrible. He told me never to tell or he would come back. You did the right thing to tell us, Corky, because now we can do something about it. Let's go! Go!
Can't you guys get my car through the doors like normal people? To hot quarters, Tracy. Wait. Yeah, let's wait like forever. I'm going to. No, Corky. It's too dangerous. But Jean's my friend. I have to go. Besides, I'm scared to stay by myself. The night of terror might come back. Easy, Corky. Remember, the only weapon terror has is fear. All it can do is scare you. If you're not scared, he can't hurt you. All right, Corky. You can go. But you have to stay with GP out of danger. No problem, Jake. Staying out of danger was sort of what I had in mind. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly, Tara. Already, I control half the nuclear missiles in the world, and as soon as I control the other half, I will control the universe! <laughs> It's the Ghostbusters! They're coming here! What? They must be trying to rescue this human. But how could they have found out? It must have been that other boy. He must have told. He will regret that. You'll have time for your revenge later, Terra. Right now, we have to prepare for... <laughs> The Ghostbusters! Uh-oh. Looks like somebody saw us coming. Can you get us inside, Tracy? <laughs> nice work, Tracy. <laughs> now let's get going, guys. We've got ghosts to bust. No problem. I will leave you to your sport, cousin. What? Where are you going? The other boy is here. Oh boy, what a fight! The Ghostbusters are really letting Prime Evil's bad guys have it. Boy, I wish I. So, human, I warned you never to tell, but you did not heed my warning. And for that, you must pay. <laughs> That's the last of them. Now, Prime Evil, where is Corky's friend Gene? I, uh, um, I, uh, um... Come on, we haven't got... No! Corky! <laughs> I told you what would happen if you told, foolish human. Now, look into the face of terror. No, no! Remember... 
The only weapon terror has is fear. All he can do is scare you. If you're not scared, he can't hurt you. You can't hurt me. You can't hurt me, you stupid ghost. I'm not scared of you at all. <laughs> You have not defeated me. I shall. What's going on? Great. Ah! I don't know where that water came from, but it sure got us free from Prime Evil. Now let's grab Gene and get out of here. Here I am. I'm coming. Gene, you're all right. I guess Terror's spell has been broken. That's not all that's been broken. Prime Evil's computer controlled everything in Hot Quarters. As you can see, <laughs> I reprogrammed it a little. Nice going, Gene. That should keep Prime Evil busy long enough for us to get out of here. So let's get going! Boy, it sure is gonna take Prime a long time to get Hot Quarters back under control. Sure. It'll keep him out of trouble for a while. Now, what say we all go back to the office and celebrate by ordering out for a pizza? Corky tells me you know a real good place to call, Gene. Uh, sorry, Jake. <laughs> I'll switch your phone number back just as soon as I get home. You better. The Enzobone's getting hungry taking all those pizza orders. <laughs> <laughs> In today's story, Corky was scared. The Night of Terror told him to tell no one what happened to Gene, but Corky told the Ghostbusters because he knew that telling was the right thing to do. If someone threatens you to make you keep a secret, then something is wrong, very wrong. Don't be afraid and tell someone you trust, like your parents or a good friend, because a secret based on fear is a secret you shouldn't keep. Tell someone. Bye now, see you soon. Vampra. They should have been here hours ago.
Good evening, Primeval. You sent for us? I sent for you this morning. Where have you been? Sorry, Great One. It's a long way from Transylvania. And we never go out during the day. Ah, yes. Well, then you'll love this job. I'm sending you into the future. To the dark side of the moon. Specifically, to Moon Base Alpha in the Earth year 2186. They've created a new food source called Moon Blooms. It can wipe out hunger. There won't be any more starving people in the world. I don't like that. So I want you to destroy that food. All of it. It's a kick. Not necessarily. Those miserable ghostbusters are there putting in ghost alarms. Don't worry, Primeval. We'll take care of those ghost buffoons. We'll squeeze them like this. No, you fool! Ah, now I'm covered in moonbloom gum. Yeah, I can't get it off. And it smells wonderful. I hate it. I think we'd better get going before he gets loose. I think you're right. That's the last of the ghost alarms. Good! Now get off of me! You're giving me a hood ache! What's this? My good luck coin. My dad gave it to me. I never let it out of my sight. How's it coming? Just about finished, Mr. Mayor. Your work with Moonbeams is too important to be left unguarded, Mr. Mayor. Speaking of work, I'd better be getting back. You enjoy yourselves. Kita, you run along and play now. Don't bother our guests. But, Daddy, there's nothing to do. Kita, you must learn not to depend on others to keep you entertained. Run along now and try to find something to do. Whatever you say, Daddy. It was nice to have met you. Bye bye. Ah, these moon loungers are great. I've never felt so relaxed. Yeah, it's more like a vacation than work. The alarm! So much for the vacation. We've got a ghost. Let's go! Go! Whatever it is. Let's get it. <laughs> Those don't look like ghosts to me. Hmm. I wonder. Eddie, you go around to the right. Tracy, the left. I'm up the middle. Control balloon. They use them like scarecrows. You mean this is someone's idea of a joke? I'm afraid so. A false alarm. Kita, come here, please. 
You caused this false alarm? Y yes Kita, don't you know it's very wrong to set false alarms? Why did you do it, Kita? Nothing ever happens around here. I, I was bored. I just wanted to have some fun. Listen, Kita, we're sorry that you're bored, but setting false alarms is dangerous. And do you know why? No. Well, for one thing, it's the same as telling a lie. For another, someone could get hurt answering a false alarm. Yeah, like me. <laughs> What was that? It's a robot security guard. It thinks we're intruders. We don't have permission to be in the Moonbloom field. Can't we tell him we're on his side? Too late for that. The robot is programmed to stop us, unless we can stop him first. Come on, let's take off, guys. Here comes another one. Come on, Kita. We're getting out of here. Tracy, stop him before he fires his rocket. Okie dokie. Whoa, that was close. We still have a problem, guys. I don't like to be so stern, but Kita must understand how dangerous it is to set false alarms. When you're growing up, some lessons are hard to learn. And I thought it was boring before. Now I'm really bored. Wow! Those people, they must be vampires. But I'd better make sure. We must try to fit in with these strange people. So, while we're here, we will be the Dracos. We will destroy the moon blooms and capture the Ghostbusters for Primeval. Now, let's go meet the mayor. I'll tell him we're his new neighbors. <gasps> they are vampires, and they're after the moon blooms. I've got to warn everybody. So, you're our new neighbors, eh? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Drackel. Everyone, listen. Those people, the Drackles, they're not what they seem. They're vampires. <laughs> <laughs> vampires! Do we look like vampires? <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, you're already being punished for those false alarms. Now you disobey me. Leave the house and tell lies about our new neighbors. It's not a lie, Daddy. Please believe me. How can I believe you after what you did? Now go home.
Thought you could use a friend. Oh, Eddie, what am I going to do? Nobody believes me. That's what happens when you do things like false alarms, Keita. But are you telling the truth now? Yes, yes I am. I wish someone would believe me. I believe you. I believe you too. Too bad you will never get the chance to convince anyone else. Time for you two to take a nap. Inside, Eddie! Quick! Good. We're safe now. I don't think so. Look! Eddie? I'm getting sleepy. So... Oh, my. They're both still out. When I cast my spell on people, they, they stay spelled. Enjoy your dreams, Spencer. When you awake, you'll be in the middle of a nightmare. <laughs> Now the trick is getting out of here. We can't go that way with Primeval out there. Aha! That's our way out. But how do we get up there? There's nothing to climb on. Watch this! Ladies first. Uh, this should be the control. Come on, Eddie. You can't escape, then, sir. to a lot of trouble for nothing. <laughs> Maybe this will slow you down. I hate this stuff. Go, Keita, hurry. Tell Jake everything. But, but they won't believe me if you're not there. Here, show Jake this. You'll understand. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, Eddie. If I hadn't made that false alarm, you wouldn't have to be doing this. No time. Here he comes. Go, hurry! St st stay back, red robes. Not a chance, Spencer. Oh, I got you. Oh. I really hate moon blooms. I'm frozen. Kita, what are you doing here? Haven't you learned... Father, please. Primeval is here. Eddie is trying to hold him back. And the vampires are... Now, I don't know why you're making up these stories, but... Jake, look! Wait, she's telling the truth. Eddie would never part with that unless he was in trouble. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Warm him up. Stand back, Jake. I'll take care of this.
Are you okay, buddy? I am now, but that was a chilling experience. <laughs> That's nothing compared to what will happen now. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Victor. There's only one of you and four of us. Yeah, not quite. Get them, Vempla. Uh-oh, she's going batty. Duck. Nice going, Trace. You turned that back into a ball. You still have me to deal with. And you will find I have the power of hundreds. I think we're in trouble. I've got an idea. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Save your strength, Victor. It's all over, ghost. Listers, you're going to be spending the rest of eternity in my personal zoo. <laughs> what are these? Ghosts? I didn't order any ghosts. Jake, look. Kita and the mayor are controlling those balloons. You're not the only one with powers, Prime Evil. The ghost bunkers must have powers even I never dreamed of. Do something about this army, Victor! You stopped the force field, Futura! If I remember right, vampires hate garlic and onions. Wanna try it, Tracy? Okie dokie. <laughs> garlic! <laughs> I hate garlic! <laughs> and I hate much more onions! <laughs> you idiot! Must I do everything myself? All right, Goobies, you have overstepped your bounds! What's this? They were just balloons! Uh -oh. Something before Primeval gets unstuck. Quick, the space tube. I've got this one. Eddie, get Victor Small Fry. Tracy, Prime Juice Head. Here's a little going away juice, Prime Weevil. You'll pay for this, Ghost. Busters! Send us the bill! And that, I think, takes care of that! Thanks again for saving our moon blooms, Ghostbusters! Just doing our job! Oh! I almost forgot! Your good luck medal, Eddie! Thanks, Kita. Here's something I've been meaning to give you. Wow! It's to remind you, no more false alarms. Never again. I promise, Eddie, never again. That's quite a reminder, Eddie. It's made me happier already. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! In today's story, Keita learned how dangerous it is to tell lies. Telling a wild story just to make yourself seem more important may sound harmless, but it can be very dangerous. And if you get a reputation for telling lies, people will think you're telling a lie even when you're telling the truth. Worst of all, people won't trust you. So stick to the truth, 
you'll be a lot happier, and you'll even be more important. That's all for today. See you next time. Ghostbusters? I told you never to say that name! <laughs> Just get down there! Spy on them! Find out what the ghost busters are up to! Bring back something I can use! <laughs> Tracy, I think the Spectre Detector is saying Primeval's ghost is headed this way. All right, we'd better look into this. Let's go. Hold it, hold it. What about me? I want to go too. Yeah. <laughs> Not tonight, Belfry. Maybe next time. Oh, gee. Sorry, uh, as I was saying, Let's go, Ghost is close. My nose is twitching like crazy. How come I never get to go? Belfry never gets to go. Ah, oh, it's because I'm too little. Oh boy, if I was only bigger. 
wants to be bigger. You goblin or history? Let's try the ghost remover, Tracy. Don't you? That's the last we'll see of that goblin for a good long while. What? I send you to spy on them? <laughs> and all you find out is that Belfry wants to be bigger? Boy, I'll blast you! <laughs> Well, perhaps, oh mighty malevolent master, this is a job for Monroe. Monroe? Monroe the Mad Magician? By all the evil omens, you're right! This is a job for Monroe! <laughs> we don't! Monroe, the mad magician, and his favorite little trick, <laughs> the amulet of my locker. Get it, Tracy. Jessica's waiting for us. Oh, perfect timing, Prime Evil. As usual. I think there's nobody else home. You better go answer the door. Yes? Uh, 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 Monroe's my name. Magic's my game. And special today... <laughs> wow! Just for you, I've got flying ointments and uh, love potions, rings to make you wiser, amulets to make you bigger, and magic stones to... Oh, wait, uh, 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 wait a minute. Did you say bigger? I did. You want to be bigger? Oh, yeah. I want to be bigger than Tracy. Uh, uh... Tracy? Tracy's the biggest Ghostbuster. Uh, bigger than you. This amulet, little one, will make you bigger than Tracy. Great. Wait a minute. Not so fast. It's a secret. You can't tell anyone or show anyone until you have them all together in the same room tonight. Then show the amulet to them. Surprise them. Boy, will they be surprised. <laughs> and you too, my little one. You too. Ghost Commander Ghostbusters! Ghost Commander Ghostbusters! Come in, please! Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters here? No time to explain now! Meet me at Ghost Command! Hurry! Uh -oh. Gosh, Trey, sounds serious! We better get back there! Right. Belfry? What's this all about? Now that we're all together, I have, uh, well, uh, a really big announcement to make. Uh, from now on, it's no more Mr. Little Guy! Belfry, that amulet, where did you get it? Why? What's wrong? That's Prime Evil's. Prime Evil? Oh, no! Oh. Jessica, get down! What have I done? What happened? We're... we're shrunk. You're not only shrunk, you're sunk. We're trapped. Oh, no. Hey, you, Monroe! Uh, huh? You lied to me! You 
trick me! <laughs> Moi! Didn't I keep my promise? Aren't you bigger than they are? Now, now what? Have to find some way. It's no use, Tracy. This cage is protected by a spell. Now, hand over that amulet! I said, hand it over! I hate that noise! Three jumping jalopies! What's going on up there? Yes, Bat Breath, and your blast is useless against... Hold it, you! Make a move and I'll squirt! Jessica, watch out! Oh! You... Ah! Jessica, no! Jessica! Nice of you to drop in, Jess. Thanks, GB. Rattarat, Fangster, I summon you! <laughs> Mysteria, come forth! Get that amulet! Hurry! Before they learn its secret! It's our only chance to lose them. Time war coming up. On your toes, here we go. Set course for Futura's moon base. She'll know what to do. I hope. to the 30th century. Next stop, Futura's moon base. <laughs> Uh-oh, those bozos need help. Call for prime evil. Hmm? Who could be calling me? Good old answer, Bone. Now's my chance. I'll call on the wizard of the past. Hello? Hello! Hey, hold, please. Hear me now, O oh wizard of the past. Give me a power and make it fast. What now? Shh. We're in trouble, Fuddy. Get us out of here. <laughs> nobody fret, nobody pout. Quick as a mouse, I'll get you out. What? Huh? They're gone! Uh, whoops! Whoops! Does this mean I can't have a cat? Oh my gosh! I'm a mouse! Oh, sorry, Jake. Oh, it's okay, buddy. I know you'll fix it. Thanksgiving! Mysteria! <laughs> Guard this room while we search the rest of the building. 
I'm not leaving until I have those ghost bumblers in my hands. <laughs> Serious, Jessica. It may be impossible to reverse Primeval's spell. That means the Ghostbusters are in real trouble this time. And... And it's all... It's all my fault! <laughs> what? I... I want it to be... Me. So I, I could be a, a hero, like... Like the Ghostbusters! Uh, Oh, Belfry, don't cry. <laughs> and, and, and Primeval, on, only I, I didn't know it was Primeval. Uh-oh. He, he, he tricked me. He told me it was a secret not to tell anybody. <laughs> oh, Belfry. A secret you can't tell your friends or family is a bad thing. That's right, Belfry. You made a mistake, but we still love you. The Ghostbusters! What'll we do? <coughs> hey, you! Fast Green! <coughs> you too, Fog Face! You heard me! I mean you! Fast Green! Fog Face? to the ancient amulet of Malarca. Wait a minute. That jewel was green when it shrunk the Ghostbusters. Hey! That's right! It was green! Uh green. It changed color? Then that means... That means we can use it! Almost time. Hope Jess and Belfry are ready. Oh, let me go! <laughs> Don't you want to play? No. Jake, Tracy, come out, come out, wherever you are. Or I'll let Bradlerat have any for keeps. All right, Primeval, we give up. I'll never fit in there. I'm too big. Belfry, how would you like to help out? I mean, really help out. <laughs> Have I got plans for you? Are you sure about that skull face? Futura! <laughs> this is an unexpected pleasure. Take that! Oh, no thanks. Oh, well, oh, oh, oh. No! It'll take weeks to pull myself together. You can't keep it up, Futura. Your power shield's almost drained. Oh, gotta hurry. Not much time. What's the matter, Belfry? Did you think we'd forgotten you? <laughs> hey, open up! Uh, hi, everybody! 
everybody. Oh, uh, good shot. You made it. Bah. <laughs> Some on your own size. Bombs away! <laughs> oh, the amulet! Oh no! Burn. We're growing! Oh, oh, I don't believe it! Now I'm shrunk! Not only that, bone brain! You're all washed up! Ghost bunglers! Do you think you can defeat me, primeval, with your puny inventions? I'll be back, and you'll pay for this! <laughs> Hey, Belfry, you're a hero. You rescued the Ghostbusters from Primeval. <laughs> yeah, and it was all because I was little, too. I'm not the wrong size after all. <laughs> you're right, Belfry. It's not how big you are outside that matters. It's how big you are inside. That's what counts. Get me out. I want out. Get me out of here. Eddie? Yeah. You wouldn't zap me! <laughs> oh, yes, I would! Hi, folks. Belfry's asking me to tell you something. Belfry? I wanted to tell all you boys and girls what I learned today. I found out that how big you are is really not so important. Like Jake said, what's important is what you're like inside. In other words, what matters is to make the best of what you have and not waste your time wishing you were like somebody else. And you know something? I bet there are lots of kids who would like to be just like...